Hello there! From behind the yellow line, this is a Tramon preview. My name is Kirk, and as always, I'm joined by my friend, and he likes the food in Florida, Christian Rainwater. What's up, everybody? This week, we're previewing the 2024 Holiday Foodie Guide. Let's just get into it. Hello, everyone! Welcome aboard Tramon, a Disneyland podcast. Please lower your head and watch your step while boarding. As a courtesy to other passengers, we ask that there be no eating, drinking, or smoking on board. In just a few moments, we will begin our trip into the Disneyland Resort News and Topic of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, this tram is ready to depart. Driver, you are clear. Welcome back to Tram and everyone. Happy Wednesday. We're your hosts. Working rain. What's up, rain? I'm in the abyss, dude. I am on the other side of a FaceTime call right now. You didn't have to tell anyone; they wouldn't know. Yeah, they wouldn't know, dude. They they they're not getting the 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 real version of me. You know, this is almost like an AI version of me. No, dude, I'm watching that. The, I was watching the Eddie Burback AI video. God, this 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 guy's wait. What Eddie Burback AI video? There's an AI video from two months ago that he put out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I saw that one. That one was with the uh, with the Waymos and stuff, and the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's sad. It is. It really is. I took a Waymo though. Oh, that was, how was that? That was real interesting. I was like like a month ago when I was up in San Jose, and but in in the in San Francisco, my client was like, "Hey man, I really want to take a Waymo. You down?" And I was like, "Sure." And yeah, that was cool. Kind of expensive, but was it more expensive than an Uber? It was. That's like surprising because you'd think that I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, I know. I know someone who was excited about the 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 Tesla taxi thing, and I just didn't chime in because like that thing's not real. But he was like, yeah. "I'm not a car guy. I don't care about cars. Like, I don't want to own a car." I'm like, all right, it's that's that's fine. Dude, even more of a reason for me to do my petty thing and not let Teslas in. What's that? No, you know, like, I don't let them in when they try to change lanes. Oh, yeah. Screw the Teslas, dude. Don't let me in. Dude, you can tell. Dude, I'm going to be tell when it's autopilot. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell when it's autopilot and when it's not autopilot. I don't know if I you... can unless it's just always autopilot because they're always slow. Dude. It, it's always autopilot. Drove I'm back. like one of the, the few people that don't like using it. Drove back from Mammoth on the 395, going through some town that shouldn't exist. And uh, I pull behind a Tesla because it's a red light and that's they're the only car there. I'm like, come on, blast off to Neverland, dude. <laughs> nope. Just the slowest takeoff ever. Like, <laughs> that's dude, autopilot. We could be going 80 right now. You know, I could be home. Un- until November 13th. I think it's November 13th. Expect every... Tesla that's newer than like 2020 to be in full FSV. Free trials over. The free trials over this week for everyone. So people are back to driving their cars, you know. Uh, and they've probably forgot how to. They never knew how to drive there. And uh, how much closer <laughs> are you to selling yours? Farther than I've I probably have ever been. Why? I thought you were like battery. I was. Die. I was, and then I. Like, I start realizing how nice it is to not have a car payment. Uh, so, that's, and that's, that's where kind of, that's where I'm at. You go to CarMax, you trade it in, you get yourself a nice Honda Civic, and you yeah. just forget about it. You could probably go cash for cash, dude. You think so? And the Civic will be nicer. The leather yeah. will come from a dead cow. You know, like, <laughs> your, your, it's not your, vegan leather? Your iPhone will plug in. <laughs> you know the uh the ceiling will stay attached to the car yeah. all these modern <laughs> conveniences but then i gotta lock the car when i leave it uh it it depends there, there's some cars that do that some old cars that was, that do that it was a real thing dude when i when i rented a hyundai kona and when i was in san jose i would legit forget to lock the car every time i'd get out of the car okay. and i would forget to turn it off but like dude i I close my car door and my finger brushes up against the door handle and it locks the car. Mm. Mm. You know, 
the I think my dad's old Corvette and the Cadillac used to just you just walk away and it would lock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I do want to get rid of it though. I'm tired of it, dude. Yeah, forget, forget dude. Car payment. It, listen, you're, just, you're gonna be I, making payments replacing that nine thousand dollar battery. I can't. Uh, it's seventeen thousand. Uh, I can't fathom spending like even having like any kind of APR on a car payment. Like I see, I see like car payments what they are when you're buying a car, and it's just like yeah, for eight hundred bucks. Yeah, because they're for seven years. Yeah, you know, yeah. just get a good, even more so. Just get a three year. You know, cheap. that's like fifteen hundred dollars a month. No, no, cheap car, cheap car. Come on. Oh, okay. Honda Civic. You love Shout it, dude. You would love. I had a Honda Civic. I know. Mm-hmm. It's the car I recommend to everyone as an Audi guy. I go, wait, what should I buy? I'm like, Honda Civic. Hey, what year is your Audi? 2020. Hmm. I saw I saw some TikTok where this guy was like, these are some of the best cars you can ever buy. And I think one of them was a 2021 Audi. Well, your, your Audi. And it looked identical to yours. Yeah, it's the same car. They released it like six months later. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, He's yeah. Like, this is one of the most reliable cars. Yeah, so after 2014... They did something to the cars and they made them like much more reliable. And then who knows how the next gen is going to be. But mine is the last. I mean, they did a 2025, but it's the same car as mine. It's the Mm. last of this gen. And it's like the eighth gen. It went to like eight, eight point five, nine. And mine is the nine and a half gen. It's like a B nine point five. And it's they they haven't really changed much. So it's just a super mature platform that the car's on um so that's cool yeah it works it works yeah i mean knock on wood i mean some there's always been there's always gonna be some weird electrical crap but that's just a new thing like cars are just gonna have electrical problems now um but dude so far so good nice um but it might be gone in june um anyways anyways uh rain i don't know this is it just feels off it just feels it does it does so Let's just uh, clean up the ether with mousekeeping. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard Tramon, a Disneyland podcast, where Kirk and I talk about the Disneyland Resort through and only through our eyes. Listen to full episodes every Wednesday or topic only uploads on Big Thunder Thursdays. If you enjoy the show, like, subscribe, comment, and review us wherever you can, including Spotify. Apple Podcasts, and of course, my favorite, YouTube. For a visual guide of the show, follow at Tramon Podcast on Instagram and right into the show, head to Tramon.com slash ask. While you're on Tramon.com, catch up on lore, check out our recommendations, or download some artwork for your personal use. If you want to chat with us on Discord, ask us how. And you can find all these links and lore on Tramon.com. Yes, you can. So... <laughs> Let's get in some news. So, this week, I'm just calling it Scott Gustin Reports. This comes from at scottgustin.com on Blue Sky. (sighs) All righty now. So... Um, we mentioned that. We mentioned all this virtual queue nonsense. All right. So there is a Mickey and Minnie gingerbread house bucket starting November 15th. People are losing their minds um, over the gingerbread house. Rain, <laughs> we have uh, the ceramic version of this. Yeah, we do. And we it's, do. It's much, the ceramic version is much nicer. Yeah. Um, so I, I wonder if that's ever that's going to come back. I don't think I've ever seen it for sale again. But they did bring back the Countdown Castle. It's a little bit different. Yes. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Um, Lucasfilm has closed a deal with Simon Kinberg to develop a trilogy of Star Wars films. Who is Simon Kinberg? Uh, he did... Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm not going to tell you because medi- I don't know. Some mediocre films. Simon Kinberg. Let's see. Mediocre films. Dark Phoenix. There we go. Uh, X-Men. Yeah, Days of Future Past. Apocalypse. Good movie. Good movie. 
first, good movie. first class, <laughs> good movie. Yeah. Last Stand, not great. Ooh, he no. did Fantastic. But then, but he then did, Logan. But then Logan and Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, this guy, this guy is probably all over. He's like the most all over the place I've ever seen in, in a director. Oh yeah, and it's all with X Men. Chappie. The, oh, he did The Martian. Oh, good movie. You know what? I think he's got it. If he's yeah. not, if someone's got to write a. Someone's got to write three good films. Wait, is he directing it? Writing it? Developing. Developing. What does that mean? Okay, we got to stop with these characters, dude. This is how bad it is. Ray was just walking around Galaxy's Edge, walked right past me, walked right past some kids, and was just walking around alone, and no one noticed. <laughs> oh no! Who is telling me about the most popular property with kids now? Was that Jeff last week? Uh. Yeah. He was like, I didn't finish the episode. I'm like, I'm halfway through. Don't tell me. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> uh let's see new holiday fun with santa and friends which we've talked about starts november 15th uh new water short highlighting walt disney animation studios moana 2 will be presented before world of color season of light that's cool, cool. uh new commercial mirabel's gifts of the season will be performed mondays through fridays outside the entrance to paradise garden park at dca and hey. then yeah I don't think Scott Gustin reported on this. Did you see Fat Cat Swingers back? No. Yeah, they're back on only certain nights. Which nights? Uh, I will tell you right now. Instagram. I can't use my phone, but let's see if, if the Zuck lets me look at their Instagram. Uh, okay. Keep going. Keep going while I find this. I, I'm just, no. Let's see. Okay, I got it. I got All it. Right. Uh, November 18th, the 25th, December 1st, 2nd, 8th, and 9th. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, next up, new, a musical Christmas with Mariachi Alegria de Disneyland and Miguel will be performed at Carthay Circle at DC on weekdays. Cool. All right. This looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Wookie Life Day Bucket will be available at Kat Saka's Kettle. This is... I love how they just have it, Life Day now. It's just this weird looking like a, like a bump on a log. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Disney on Resort has updated the virtual queue for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Uh, there will be three enrollment opportunities. 7 a.m., 12 p.m., and 4 p.m. Interesting. Yeah. I did hear that you can only hold one virtual queue at a time now. Like in general? In general, that you have to choose between that and mansion. Ah. Uh, yeah. Like one at a time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah you yeah. can like, theoretically get a morning group for one, go on it, and then. 100%. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Whoa, this is really random. The Disney Treasure Ship Horn will feature seven new arrangements. Including Grim Grinning Ghosts, Remember Me, and A Whole New World. <laughs> Listen, it's When You Wish Upon a Star or Bust. That's the best one. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. So the Moana thing is called Boat Snack. All right, moving on. Tiana's Palace will get several new menu items starting November 15th. Catfish Po' Boy. Jambalaya, which is chicken and andouille sausage. Shocked that they never had that. The strawberry cream-filled beignet is, like, here. It's really good. Yeah. But only November 15th through 17th, classic beignets dusted with sugar and honey. I want to say that right next to Tiana's Bayou Adventure in Walt Disney World, there's a little stand, and the main thing that they sell are those exact beignets. And I had some a couple, the you know, honey, about a week ago. The honey and dust ones? Yeah, except there's three. That they give you, not two, like it shows in the picture. Um, absolutely mediocre. I wonder if these are the ones from outside, though. Cafe Dumont, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a new Fantasmic Dining Package will be available at Cafe Orleans at Disney on Park starting January 10th. Three course dining experience for breakfast or for lunch and dinner. I'm down. 
Looks good. I'm always down for these. Yeah. Dude, shout out. When you zoom in with your fingers on Blue Sky on the Mac, it, like, is responsive. Oh, that's cool. All right. That's cool. Uh, is that all the news? I think so. I think so. Yeah, you're, that gingerbread house, we do have that one. Yeah. Going through here. Yeah, I think we're good. Cool, cool, cool. So now, it's time. Oh, wait. Another thing. Uh, last thing. Tasty Bites inspired by Moana 2. Um, uh, hey, hey, straw clip. Coconut macadamia pancakes at Riverbell Terrace. Hamburger steak and eggs with spiced ham, fried rice, eggs, and mushroom gravy. Available ah. at Riverbell Terrace. Okay. Grilled shrimp skewer with sausage and pineapple topped with coconut vinaigrette at Bengal Barbecue. So you're keto. Uh, yeah. pulled pork dog, sweet and spicy pulled pork with fiery tropical chutney on a toasted bun served with cuties, mandarin oranges, or film strip fries available at Award Wieners. Cool. Tropical slushy, pineapple, orange juice, grenadine, and coconut milk slushy topped with whipped cream, shredded coconut available at Schmoozies, and oof, here it is, my dude. Boat snack burrito, Kahlua style pork with spiced ham and egg fried rice. Spicy cabbage slaw and charred pineapple served with Hawaiian Mac salad at the studio catering truck. Hold the salad, but I'm down. There you go. There you go. I'm all in, dude. When does this start? Uh, st- okay. Oh, this all starts Friday. So that's the, nice. the when we wonder where, when we wonder why they are only showing tacos in the foodie guide, but not a burrito. Here that's it is. Fine. Yeah. All right, it's time for your right, in which members of the Tram Fam write in with corrections and comments just like you can at tramcom slash ask. I will cue up the corrections music this week. Okay, so we got uh, Taylor H. writing in. Uh, Kirk, you're so right about the parking situation at the Disneyland Resort. We have the meager Imagine key and the parking discount to park in Toy Story became a bad value to us after a few times. The $35 parking has been in place for a long time now, making our parking $27.50 just to go for four or five hours, plus taking the bus at midnight with the huddled masses sucks so bad, it's a bad way to end the night. I now know every possible way to park at the resort that's cheaper, and we regularly park at Simba Validate at Splitsville. For the price of two drinks there, the cost is about the same as Toy Story, but at least you get two drinks, get to go through downtown Disney or the monorail to go home, which is a much more fun experience. Sometimes we just tell the person at Splitsville that we forgot to validate so we don't have to pay, which works every single time. I see them look at the timestamp on my ticket and let it slide every single time. P.S. I am a little disgusted with myself for doing this. Splitsville <laughs> kind of sucks and it is way overpriced, but it's the only place you can walk in with no reservation and get the six-hour parking validation. With the increasing prices, I think our time is up at the resort. I hate jumping through hoops just to park. And I don't enjoy looking at the availability calendar every year to see less and less holidays available to us. I believe next year there's a week of December that is not this year. So that's interesting. Huh. Hey, even if we upgraded to Enchant, that's still zero weekends per year and a couple seasonal weeks, which isn't really what we're looking for. Although those Fridays are sweet. If Disney just threw us one bone, even if that bone was to offer us the opportunity to buy an annual parking pass, we'd probably reconsider we also understand the reality that Disney has no incentive to throw bones at anyone. Why would they offer us anything when the parks are still packed? People are paying for parking, buying tickets, and at the end of the day, I feel like I shouldn't be paying a company for a product. I have to actively find loopholes, feel like a criminal, and skirt around their policy just to get there and use the product economically. Sorry for the bummer post, but you guys were arguing about the parking, and I just had to chime in. Yeah, it's rough out there, my friends. It is. That it is. Yeah. But thank you for writing in. Sorry about that situation. Um, all right. I'm forgetting like today's Monday. I need to remember to run payroll tomorrow. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. All right. And then we got a couple things on Discord. Um, come hang out with us on Discord. Let's see. Um, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay. I have, I have a I have a couple shout outs also once you're once you're done. Okay. Christian with the case says Jeff is right. You do need to play Portal 2. Hey, you do. Jackson you do. Yes, says do. I'm not caught up yet, but yes, Kirk, you need to play. Uh okay. Well, I just set up my PS5 Pro, so not sure. The first thing you should do is play Portal 2 on your PS5 Pro, even though it's locked into the PS3. <laughs> you think I could, is it you think it's on PS Plus? Yeah, I think so. No, like the the streaming. The streaming thing, yeah, yeah, I think so. Hmm. It probably sucks though. 720p, laggy. Um, I got I got a, enough devices that you can borrow to play. Oh yeah, you got another one coming in, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and let's see. A lot of people love the Jeff episode. Ugh. Sorry. Jack, uh, Jeff is a magical creature. Yeah, he, he's uh he's very fun. I'll say that. Okay, let's see. Um, Mark did not write in whether or not he changed his printer paper. Uh, <laughs> Christian with a K wrote Epson supremacy, but I said uh, it's all about brother. Um, Dude, I was looking. Okay, you tagged me in Discord, yeah. and I was looking for my shack rendering for a solid hour, and I couldn't find it. Hmm. Is that why you tagged me? Yeah, you knew that's about exa the it's exactly story? why. Exactly why. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Reyes says, Jeff can confirm Goldberger slaps. Uh, and then... What? Dude. Robert... Sorry. Robert cracks me up. Because in the... <laughs> there's the thing. The, uh, the food thread. Yeah. He goes... Uh, what did he say? Okay, let's see. It said, where's the also, five guys? Uh, and Jeff says, who gives an S? That's where. But then Robert says, their fries are good, but their burgers make me sick. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> then why do you care where five guys is? Uh, Sebastian says, grill them all is a must try. Yeah, it was. Uh, I've had that out of the truck, and it was great. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, the behemoth has been. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's what I got. What do you got, Rain? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Uncle Daniel. I ran into him at Disneyland uh, sometime last week. And um, he said, hey, Rain. His, uh, his Uncle Daniel's Brandy's uncle, by the way. Uh, we ran into Daniel and Kathy. And he said, hey, Rain, give me a, give me a shout out on Tramon, on your next Tramon. And I was like, all right, right, will do. So that's his shout out. Um, they're probably there more than Brandy and I are. It's crazy, and they're all coming off all the way from Wilmington. Um, and also shout out to Kaylee who just got a pass. Nice. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, this is a uh, this is just new news. Uh, my mom today uh, said, "Hey, uh, Disney Plus said something about being in the same household." <laughs> I'm like, ooh, it happened. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, but I believe Max still works. I don't know how Hulu works. Because, you know, you use Hulu through the Disney app. Yeah. Do you yeah. think it does the same thing on the Hulu app? Probably. But Max is sneaky. Because I get Max through my uh, internet provider, through at and Yeah. Right? And I tried putting it on at Brandy's parents' house. And they would not let me put it on because... It wasn't the same internet connection uh, as mine. Oh, that's a separate thing. Yeah. That's yeah, a separate I, thing. Yeah. I think Max is fine because I just sent it to Kimmy. Uh, and she said, thanks. Hey, yeah. I know we haven't done, uh, what's it called in a long time? Uh, now, now play it. Uh -huh. But Vince McMahon documentary. I oh, my God. Didn't I not tell you about this? You told me about it, and I watched the whole thing. Yeah, I... Uh... Have now play, paid for my second month of Netflix, but I don't think I used it. Uh, so here but you we saw are. the whole documentary, right? No, I saw 40 minutes of the first episode. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. What? That, that's a, that's a must-watch. But, dude. That's great. Uh, in Mammoth, I didn't, I didn't watch anything. I somehow mm. did not turn on the TV or go on YouTube. Oh. Yeah. Props. It was a Book? Lot. Book, dude. Book. Book. Travels in Alaska, John Muir. And, uh, nice. Dude, 
he like described my trip by saying what other people were on a trip for, like people he ran into. Uh-huh. They were on a trip for health and scenery. I'm like, yeah, man. Me too. <laughs> uh, all righty. That is all we got for you, right? Uh, Rain, how do we intro the preview? Like, <clears throat> like, do I? Oh, I think I think I have a sound for this. So last week was rewind. Um, now it's preview, and Jeff's probably going to think this is also stupid. How do you feel about not numbering these Foodie Guide episodes? Oh, that's. I think it's great. Why is that? I think that the Foodie Guide episodes are only for. The majority of the Tram fam, but not for everyone. Because that 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 toast comment still gets in my head, dude. <laughs> the toast. I swear. Dude, it shouldn't, though. It shouldn't. I know. I know. But I do think that if people don't want to listen to the Tram, to the, um, to the Foodie Guide, it's, a, it's also like a less creative episode. You know, like, I feel like the ones that you're writing about different things in the park or, like, different creative ideas should be separated from just going through a foodie guide you know what i mean yeah okay i think i have the old should it be like the old movie now playing sound just like a film reel like a preview oh that's cool yeah i like that okay i don't have it on the roadcaster but i do have it on google drive um Mm -hmm. so people listening to the full episode can get this whole behind the scenes dude last week there were many cuts to the show i saw yeah, I saw. there was uh, we cut maybe five minutes about Jeff and I arguing about Discord Nitro. Um, OK, dude. also, why is Jeff's Cosmic Rewind? Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Redacted. Uh, not well, yes, redacted, but also gatekept. Oh, because uh, it's not necessarily the safest thing. And you can get in trouble for doing it. OK, so okay, he was like, fair. you know what? Let's not do it. We recorded that. Cut it out. Um, uh, yeah. And then we cut out a 10-minute conversation about domains, like domain names, <laughs> where he said dot website is underrated. Um, so That's we, where that comes from. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Because I bought tram and dot website this morning. Yeah. Uh, and I realized none of you know the reference uh, because I cut yeah. it out. Uh, and then what were we just talking about? Oh. Uh, we spent a good five minutes finding the rewind sound, and some of them were disgusting. Not like you gross, like your ears would bleed or you'd throw up from getting sick. So, no, the one you chose, fantastic. Yeah, no, it was, dude. Some of them were like high pitched screeches. So everyone missed all those. So um, you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> Let's see. Preview. Okay, I have this now playing, which doesn't say anything else on it. So I'm going to play it and see what happens. Oh, it's it's got to open in Google Drive. Let's uh-huh. see. Is it? It's not playing. Where is it? Come on. Come on, buddy. Now playing. No. No, that's not it. Uh, we could download it. Let's see how that works. Okay. Scanning for viruses. It's my own Google Drive. <laughs> you can never be safe enough, dude. <laughs> dude. Allow downloads. Is it, is it going to zip it? No, 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 it didn't. Uh-huh. It just, it just now playing on. dot wave. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we could hear. If it even plays. Oh, no, we got to open VLC. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. That's it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Nope, that's not even the right one. Yeah. Where? Okay, yeah. sound archive. That's where we're going to go, everyone. Um, Rain's not cutting this out. So, let's see. Now playing. This is a treat. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no. It's not now playing. It's called Movie of the Week. Oh. Right, right. Okay, scanning for viruses once again. Okay, downloading. Dude, it's 815 kilobytes. What's taking so long? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's see. Let's try this one. I don't have to. Nope. Come on. Hey, can you think it'll hear mine? 
No, I got it. I got it. Hey. Just not loud enough. One more time. Let's try this again. All right. So we're going to use that. So I'll go. Uh, what What do they What do they say? This. Hold on. Uh, this preview is not rated. What do they say? Oh, what does that green screen say? Yeah, there's a few. Or a pseudo oh, for general. You know what? Let's just get into the new. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's, the following uh... preview has been approved for all audiences by the Motion Picture Association of America. Okay. The f- all right, I got it. You know what? Give me the script. Just uh, let's see. Everyone's loving this. Everyone's loving this so much. Okay. The following preview what has been has been approved for all audiences by the motion picture association of america okay okay by the motion picture, picture associate association of america m p a a okay All right, guys. I promise you this is worth it. Only if I can play these both at the same time. Okay. Ah, come on. <laughs> All right. All right. We got it. We got it. Just make sure everything's max volume. Here we go. The following preview has been approved for our audience by the Tramon Podcast Association of America. The 2024 Holiday Foodie Guides. Rain, they are here. Finally, dude. I've been literally holding off on reading this foodie guide because of today's episode. I have no idea what's at the resort. Yeah, Matthew was like, oh, dude, like this thing looks good. That thing. Matthew, new magic key holder. Uh, Matthew. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, Everyone waited for Jeff to let his pass expire, and then they all got passes. (laughs) But I hung out with Jeff at Disneyland, and you guys don't even know the whole story. But, yeah, he was, when I, I hung out with him and Freddie and Anna, oh, there, I guess there's we have it so good this week, uh, last week. And Matthew's like, oh, dude, this looks good, that looks good. I'm like, oh, I haven't even seen it. We're saving it for the show. He goes, oh, like, spoilers? I go, no, I just haven't opened it. Uh, but, yeah. Rain, let us begin as we begin all things through prayer. No, um, Alien Pizza Planet at Disneyland Park. The closest thing to prayer that we have. Yeah. Um, you better be praying if this is what you're eating. Uh, <laughs> so, Nicole Cantori is back. Uh, so, just confirming, the person that texted Jeff on the show was not Nicole Cantor. Was not Nicole Cantor. Got it, got it, okay. Yeah, although she's probably Italian, and, it, you know, likelihood of an Italian texting Jeff? Hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. All righty then, Disneyland Park. This is the 2024 Disneyland Holiday Foodie Guide, even though that includes DCA. Oh, no, I don't know. Does it rain? Uh, let's see. Electric Grill. Uh... Yes, it does. So this is the non-festival holidays, but we will get into that. But let's start. This is why yes. you're all here. You've all been waiting. Open up the link with your wife and watch. Uh, or listen. Um, I forgot who did that. Was it Orion? I don't remember. Anyways, Alien Pizza Planet has the new chicken al pastor pizza slice with spiced red sauce, mozzarella cheese, roasted corn, and al pastor marinated chicken garnished with crema and tomatillo sauce, drizzle, and cilantro. This is this a- is what I'm talking about, dude. Screw that mango, whatever that thing was, as the pizza sauce. A spicy, a spiced red sauce is exactly what is needed. And tomatillo on top? Sure. Yes. Give me, dude, this uh, this sounds fantastic. Are you going to eat it, though? I actually, legit, I am going to try. Okay. Legit, you're going to try to maybe eat it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do have a, yeah, this sounds good, but I'm not going to make it there. I'm not. You know, you know, I'm pretty sure Kimmy said... Unless it was another holiday and we did get the macaron. But she was like, I'm going to get it. I'm like, we're not going to make it there. And I don't think we did. We did it for Halloween. 
But here we have the alien reindeer macaron filled with salted buttercream, chocolate ganache, and brownie pieces. It's not new. The no. antlers are new. The antlers are new. What is that? That that does not look right, whatever that is in the middle of his face. It's a nose. That does not look like a nose. What? It doesn't look like anything bad. It, it just... No, it doesn't look right. All right. Um, it's this thing is good, so I recommend you try it. Um, but then they also, yeah, they also have the holiday green drink, <laughs> apple flavored beverage topped with caramel, cold foam, and sprinkles. Um, okay, look, I'm liking these weird cold foam soda things. They're kind of good. I've never had one. This is what Jeff and I would call the the funny drink. So was it the funny drink or the silly drink? I think funny drink. Listen, don't also, like it till you try it. I feel like these kind of concoctions that Disney's been putting out are not priced like those ridiculously priced mocktails that Jeff was talking about. Yeah, these are Way like six fifty or something, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like like an extra buck or two over regular soda, which is fine. Yeah, uh, no refills though. True, true. What, dude? Cafe Daisy. Has a peppermint s'mores hot chocolate, which is a hot chocolate and peppermint syrup topped with whipped to- whoa whipped topping, chocolate syrup, mini marshmallows, crushed candy cane, and graham cracker dust. Always down, always down for a peppermint hot chocolate. Yeah, um, this could be all right. It does not come in that glass, but that's okay. Yeah, but they have uh the specialty cold brew. It says it's returning, so um. Good luck. I know you guys don't like the cold brew from over there. This says French roast cold brew, though. So, could be different. Who knows? But Carnation Cafe has the eggnog old-fashioned buffalo trace oh. bourbon, bitters, an orange-infused brown sugar syrup, uh, Luxardo maraschino cherry, and candied orange peel topped with eggnog cream. Rain? I'm down. I am down. Dude, I'm going to give a shout-out to Buffalo Trace Bourbon. Yeah, shut up. That's good. It's, good, it's stuff. good. I had a drink with it recently that I'll bring up and it's going to be at my wedding. Nice. Yeah. Is that, it's literally the one with the buffalo on it, right? I think so. And it looks kind of cowboyish. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's, yes. It's it's an upgrade okay. from Bullet, right? Or is Bullet? Yeah. Also, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Edelweiss Snacks. The, the Bratwurst is back, dude. Huh. Just saying. Available starting November 15th. It, yeah, I don't know. If but did it go away? away? It's it's back. Yeah. Uh, so that is interesting. But they have a Black Forest Bunt Cake. <laughs> chocolate sponge cake filled with cherries topped with chocolate ganache and chantilly cream finished with chocolate curls, cherries, and powdered sugar. This is a rain joint. It is. It is. Is this? That sounds like Dorothy by Chocolate. Or is it just because I'm looking at the picture? No, dude, look, go up. It's a little bunt cake. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. up, up, not down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. A little no, bunt cake. Are they, what are they turning this into Joffrey's or something? At the, the that's I, cart? I think so. That's that dude, sounds fun. They should probably get stop selling the turkey leg there. I, who's buying that thing? No, like lots of people, but the, the corn turkey leg Doritos, like get that out of Edelweiss snacks. I think Edelweiss snacks. Should be like a little coffee shop, like yeah. Snack shop, you know. It makes it makes more sense. Coffee, cold. You're by the Matterhorn. Not you're not looking for a turkey leg and corn, dude. And then throw what's his face next door. Yoo-hoo. Big summer blowout. There you go. Have him do a little meet and greet there. I know it's frozen, but like he's in Lederhosen. Like it'll work. It'll work with with Matterhorn and his getup. Yeah. Next up. Moving on down to Galactic Grill. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, Cranberry Barbecue Chicken Sandwich is back. We never tried it. Uh, Meatloaf Dinner Burger is back. Um, I don't trust these vegetable patties, but this is a new one. Kimmy, listen up. Although she already has her notes. Darth by Peppermint. It doesn't work that way. Um, layers of chocolate sponge, chocolate pudding, and peppermint mousse finished with crunchy pearls, cookies and cream pieces, candy cane sprinkles, and Darth Vader and red lightsaber decorations. Let's go, dude. That is the perfect Christmas treat. What if, what if this was like 
where's Padment? Is she safe? <laughs> <laughs> is she jolly? <laughs> uh, it really doesn't work that way, but Darth it, by yeah, peppermint. That, yeah. Dude, okay, the point of Darth by Chocolate is that there's a dessert called Death by Chocolate, and it's so chocolatey it kills you. This better not be so pepperminty it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Christmas Punch is back and the Hot Chocolate Foam Cold Brew is back. But just get the one from Starbucks. I've never had that hot chocolate. That, that sounds interesting to me. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah. That's cool. Gibson Girl Ice Cream Parlor has the Peppermint Cold Brew Float. <laughs> peppermint Ice Cream, Joffrey's Cold Brew Coffee, and Whip Topping. Um, I I'm in. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Cold brew with ice cream in it? Yeah. Uh, it's like an affogato that's not hot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Something feels off affogato about it. Um, <laughs> the whipped topping. Get that out of here. Whipped cream or bust. All right. Peppermint Holiday Sunday is back. Uh, lots of peppermint, but I love the look of the, the, the waffle bowl. And they're serving peppermint ice cream. Dude, Harbor Galley, <laughs> fresh baked gingerbread cookies, packs of six or 13 while supplies last, and you can get some gingerbread whipped topping. I'm in, dude. Um, and I think everyone's going to be in for this one. Yeah. This is going to be hard to get. Yeah. That's, dude, when was the last time you had a fresh baked gingerbread cookie? Oh, long time. I mean, it's bubbling up inside me. I feel like I have to say it. Gotta shout him out. Who? Fresh baked. David. David. Shout out. I haven't, I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, because you said fresh baked. <laughs> yeah. He says it like that. That's his thing. It's in the oh, song. I'm, it's in Addy's I, song. I've never listened to... Daddy's song, and I've never watched a Fresh Bake video. Oh, shoot. He's selling the rights to his music. Yeah. We, should, we gotta grab Tramon. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> oh, You're right. Yeah, hey, man. Uh, <laughs> we shouldn't have passed that, that out over. there, maybe. But no one cares. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, pass that one over. Or, like, put a put some uh, quotes. Make a new one. You know, we're here. We'll record them. Anyways, Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree is already participating. Holiday Funnel Fries. Um, cinnamon sugar dusted with caramel drizzle, vanilla ice cream, whipped topping, holiday sprinkles, and crushed Twix cookie bar pieces. Rain, where are you on <clears throat> Funnel Cake Fries? Look, the hum every Funnel Cake Fries by themselves, I don't think I've ever had. Actually, I've had one at Award Winners years ago. Not impressed, not not a fan. I was pleasantly surprised by that funnel cake that I had at Hungry Bear like three months ago, but that was just a standard funnel cake. I may be surprised by this, but I doubt I'm going to get there. Yeah, I I don't... Uh, look, I got no time for funnel cake fries. Yeah. But good luck to all of you out there. Dude, I'd rather like... Imagine all of this, but it's just a cup of Twix. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm... Twix I'm fries. Gonna... Let's go. Whenever I hear, whenever I eat funnel cake, I always feel like dying after. Yeah. And these are just like the most fried parts of a funnel cake. I'm I'm good. There's also a returning snickerdoodle cold brew. Um, cool. Okay. Eh, whatever. Okay. What is that? That second picture. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Ugh. Ooh, I see <laughs> it. I see it. But let's, let's hold your horses, Rain. Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe has a chocolate coffee loaf filled with chocolate cream topped with crunch chocolate shell and Mickey chocolate logo. Um, I'm, I'm also down. That looks great. I yeah. got cake eclair. Um, so looks good to me. But here it is, Rain. The uh the uh I don't I don't know. I lost it. The crispy chocolate dipped croissant topped with flaked corn cereal and filled with Bavarian cream. I'm done, dude. This is this is the ultimate dessert for me. Why is that? Everything, everything that I want in a piece of bread, a croissant, which I love, 
I get them all the time, especially at Jolly Holiday. I think their croissants are like, oh, you have. for some reason, t- they taste amazing. The strawberry croissant, the chocolate croissant are some of my favorite croissants I've ever had. I, I don't know why. I didn't even know this was a thing. Yeah. You've never um, mentioned getting a croissant at Jolly Holiday. I said that chocolate croissant was one of the best I've ever had in huh. like weeks ago, long time ago. Huh. Uh, but dipped in chocolate with my favorite thing in the world, cereal on it. And then the Bavarian cream in the middle is taking the place of milk. I like, I just, I don't know. This is everything I, I could, I could want in one dessert. Uh, I don't. Okay. I thought I like Bavarian cream, but I don't. Oh, I love it. Bavarian cream has the egg yolks in it. It's like a Boston cream pie, but I'm down. it's like custard, Give it to me. but I like, I like the fake stuff that Krispy Kreme has. The cream. Oh, uh, okay. Cream with a K. It, that's not that's related with to the, Christian with a K. But <laughs> like yellow stuff, right? No, the white, the bright white, like the the bleached. The got sweet. it. Huh? I got I, I got it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You like that stuff or no? Too sweet? No, I love it. Dude, that I would probably it. be better in here, right? Less eggy. More just sugar. I don't know. I, I'm I'm letting the the Disney Disney bakers cook on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Dude, I gotta say. Uh, I made, oh, I'll have to send you a picture, but I don't have it right now. I made croissant breakfast sandwiches this morning. It oh, was that sounds great. Trader Joe's croissants. So they're like, you know, just eat them before they go moldy, you know, like the fresh stuff. Yeah. I threw those in my toaster oven while I was cooking eggs. Okay. Uh, so two eggs on the, below the egg and on top of the egg. A slice of smoked Gouda, also from uh-huh. Trader Joe's, and then uh-huh. two strips of bacon. And dude, it was Starbucks can dude. Imagine combining the, you know, Starbucks has bacon, egg, and Gouda. Yeah. So imagine that Ooh, with a little extra cheese, but then a croissant on the outside. Let's go, dude. It was great and like crisp. Oof, great stuff. Too buttery almost because you know croissant is just. Butter, and I cook the eggs with butter. So lots of butter. But imagine that on Gabriel's croissants. I what did that <laughs> taste? Oh, that was like almost too wet to be a sandwich, though. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. That's good on its own. I don't know. I would want that with no cheese. How about that? They they, they used to make they used to get the the old uh, croissants that they sell at the bakery, mm-hmm. um, and then tear them up. And make them in a French toast. Ooh. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's that was... like a bread pudding. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got some bread pudding in my fridge for me right now. Waiting for me. Uh, I might be. I, I'm, I've been assigned the bread pudding in a couple weeks. Mm. So uh, I got to text my mom. How do I make bread pudding? Bread pudding. Uh, I think it's just buy two baguettes from Costco and just leave them on the counter for a week. And Bingo. Pour condensed <laughs> milk on them. <laughs> and this should be good alright uh, let's see cookies and cream cheesecake topped with red and green mousse yellow pearls it look dude it's the, the cover photo looks cute get out of here okay uh, banana bunt cake uh, banana cake filled with dulce de leche <laughs> finished with cream cheese frosting sprinkles and chocolate decoration uh, uh... what I don't like Dulce de Leche. I've I've never been a Dulce de Leche guy. Uh, I I know a guy. I gotta I gotta text this. Um, but then there is the new Christmas Mickey shaped cookie. Look, well, yeah, I like it. I'm down. Yeah, that's cool. dude. Sprinkles I think are underrated. They are. I I agree. I agree. What is Rain? Do you know what uh, weirdos from Massachusetts call sprinkles? Oh no, it's an East Coast thing too. <laughs> Or the Midwest. What? Jimmy's. Oh, uh, Jimmy's? <laughs> Jimmy's, dude. What is that? What is this, that? Is on, an, this is another birdie situation. Oh, oh no. I think birdie's worse. Because Jimmy's <laughs> is a whole like portion of the United States. Birdie is Orange County, California. <laughs> and you know what, dude? I got to know. I know like Placentia. Does the birdie? 
Do you think Anaheim does the birdie? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think Anna. I think I don't think Anaheim, Fullerton, or Brea do the birdie. Brea might, dude. Oh, Emily, think... Emily, let us know, Emily. Yeah, yeah, that's a oh, good one. I could let me message her on Discord. Uh, let's see. Emily, Who does the birdie? <laughs> Emily. Uh, hey, we're recording Tramon. Tramon. Oh my! I forgot how to type, and I have one question. Oh my God. Uh, waterfall or birdie? <laughs> was the oh my god in there? No, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I haven't I haven't worked since Wednesday, so I'm just I haven't typed in. It's it's great. Okay, uh, what was I saying? Jimmy's Bird. birdies. Oh, Jimmy's. Yeah. Oh, Anaheim. Jimmy's. Do you know why Anaheim's not birdie? Why? Too many trollos waterfalling forties. Very very true. Yeah. Uh, okay. Christmas shape. Mickey cookie looks good. Chocolate cake snow globe. Have I had this? I think so. Yes, it's mm. good. It is good. Holiday ornament macaron with chocolate ganache and peppermint mousse. I'm sure that's delicious. Mickey gingerbread. You already know. Thanks, Miss Sandwich is back. Uh, Rain does not like it. It's a little dry sometimes. It's okay. I like it. Bread is too hard. Yeah, um, fill it with gravy. Dude, what? I'm trying to think, like, what soup would this be good to dip in? You know what I mean? Like a, like a, like a chicken noodle, but, like, creamy. That, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Huh. Like a, ooh, what about, no, broccoli cheddar would be too much, right? Yeah, because of the cranberry. Yeah. All right. Well, right in with uh with your suggestion. I don't know. Tur- we have the answer oh, right here. There it is. Turkey pot pie soup returns. Tender turkey breast, potatoes, peas, and carrots topped with pie crust pieces. Dude. Is that creamy or is that soupy? It doesn't matter because it, it sounds right. Yeah. You know? The potatoes were in. Uh pumpkin cold brew returns. But weird. Why? Oh, November fifteenth through November thirtieth. There you go. Queen. That's the that's the Thanksgiving. Yeah. Wait. Are they doing the weird thing with the thanks miss? No. No. January seventh. What did they What did they do last year? Oh, I remember. I remember. I don't remember what it was though. Yeah. But I remember they did something weird. Yeah. I think it was the thanks miss. Yeah, but then what did they have for Christmas? Was it the media? Mmm. Because the bugogi obviously wasn't. Something, 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 something. It was some not leftovers. It was, oh, it was like a ham, wasn't it? A ham and pineapple. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was because it was supposed to. It was like trying to be Christmas dinner. You know what? I have it. I have it. I'm gonna open it up and draw. Jolly. Okay. So thanks, Miss Sandwich was November 10th through 30th. Uh, and then, let's see. Where'd it go? Chicken, bacon, corn chowder they had. But thanks, Miss Sandwich. It's called oh, like the holiday ham. ham and pineapple toasted sandwich. Man, I remembered something. That's Hallelujah. crazy. Oven roasted ham, pineapple, and Swiss cheese on rustic bread with chips. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. All right. Um Peppermint mocha cold brew, though, is for uh, Christmas, and that's new. Okay. Little Red Wagon has Cranberry Wagonade. Market House, that's Starbucks, has the Mickey Gingerbread. Uh, Maurice's Treats has a chocolate chip cookie with holiday sprinkles. Oh, wait, are we, are we just going to pass by the Wagonade and not mention it? It's, it's returning, apparently. <laughs> the Wagonade, okay. Yeah, uh... I don't know, dude. We, what else? We got? <laughs> That's stretching, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mint Julep Bar has the peppermint Mickey shaped beignets with peppermint powdered sugar. You love these, right? Yeah. Oh, those are great. Uh, but I liked it with the peppermint bark dipping sauce, <laughs> chocolate peppermint bark. That's, Why is that new? It's not. Oh, 
Oh, it is because last year was Hershey's. Remember, it wasn't. Oh. I didn't quite like it. It was off. It, every dude, screw you, dude. Every time I eat a Hershey's Kiss, I think of throw up. Now, that wasn't me, dude. That's just and, like society. And I still like eating it, but I think of the throw up every time. <laughs> Hershey's is not real chocolate. Wait, <sighs> and dude, I'm not like Mister Snob. Like you need to go to Switzerland. Like Ghirardelli, bare minimum. Yeah, bare minimum yeah. Ghirardelli. Or that the big pound plus at Trader Joe's. I used to love Mr. Good Bars. Uh, dude, that now, sounds like, now. you know what that sounds like? That sounds like something your uncle would really be into. <laughs> I think he is. Right? Yeah. Uh, no, he, he likes, uh, what is it? What is he? Oh, he, he always gets the king size. King size. Uh, oh, my God. Not the Twix. No, Snickers. He always gets king size Snickers. That's fine. That's fine. Totally. Yeah. That's like, dude, I remember how, do you remember how old Snickers was when we were in like elementary school, junior high? Like, how old it was? No, how, how, uh, how much it cost? I don't know what it, I might've said that, but how much it cost? Probably like 79 cents or something. 65 cents, my friend. 65. And they went up okay. to 80 cents and I was like, well, what's going on? Yeah. And now dude, Snickers probably $2. Probably. Probably. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Cranberry, pomegranate, mint julep. Stid is what it sounds like. Uh, outdoor vending ca- locations have candy, apple, cotton candy. Probably good. Okay. Plaza Inn has the apple pecan cream cheese bunt cake filled with apple pecan and cream cheese. You don't say. Uh, finished with Chantilly and pecans. Um, no, no coal in here. Somebody's messing up. No, it's an apple pecan... Cream cheese bunt cake filled with apple pecan and cheesecake. Oh. Or cream okay. cheesecake. Oh, you're right. You're right. Not all yeah, of them yeah. have colons. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, we all have colons, though. <laughs> Take uh, care of them. Yeah. Uh, gingerbread cake filled with cream cheese filling and gingerbread crunch finished with buttercream glaze and chocolate gingerbread person. Mm. I don't want to get into it, but the gingerbread person thing... <laughs> I was not gonna say anything. Okay, because Trader Joe's started doing that, guys. Did they? Y- yeah, guys, gals, and other pals. I look. I support everyone, you know. And it's you know more than just I have the pride sticker. Haha, like cool, right? Uh, I support all your rights and uh, and love you all. It's a gingerbread man. Like it's just, a, it's okay. It's just a cookie. He, it's a fake thing. He has. You can't a bow catch tie. him. You can't catch he, me. I'm the gingerbread man. You know. Yeah, it's, right. it's it's just run run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread person. It doesn't doesn't work. Just for this one it worked, thing. It worked better than I thought it was. No, because I said person, but I'm just. <laughs> Well, look, imagine <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread person. <laughs> I'm not gonna die on the hill. I don't care, and I understand inclusivity, and I try to, okay. I try to make everyone feel included. But it's okay if this little dude is the gingerbread man, right? If I, they're gonna call him a gingerbread person, take off the bow tie. Is all I'm saying. No, because women can wear bow ties, and non-binary people can wear. You know what? It's not. No, no, no. We're getting too deep into the weeds. You know what it is, Rain? It's not that it is a gingerbread man. It's the gingerbread man. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like yeah. it's not sand it, it's he's not he's not a species. It's not like there are many Santa Clauses. Like the one man is Santa Claus, you know, and he has a wife, Mrs. Claus, and then the elves are elves. No, uh, like el, elf, el, elf, uh, elvet, you know, <laughs> elf is elf. Elf can be anything, but the gingerbread man, he's a character, you know. This is what gingerbread I'm saying. Person. Yeah, so the, person. I'm just saying the gingerbread man is a character. It's one character. He's the gingerbread man. He's like a tooth fairy. Yeah, but like you, you could have. <laughs> Yeah, no, because the tooth fairy, we don't know what the tooth fairy is, but the, exactly, you know what I mean. Exactly. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm arguing. Okay, I see, I see. 
Yeah, it like, you know, I don't know. He's like the Easter Bunny. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, who you know, but these here's the thing about the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny lays eggs, not real. So, um, could be whatever you want. I'm just saying, I'm not going to die on the hill. If if this makes everyone feel better, that's fine. I'll I'll st- I'll I'll stand down. All right, just now think- tell everyone tell everyone how you think Tiana's is trash, and we should go back no, to Splash Mountain. No, I hear it's great. <laughs> I haven't been on it. Um, funny that I haven't been on it, but seems great to me, right? <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's weird. Okay, you know what? Gingerbread, like a box of gingerbread people, kind of sounds funny. That's. I think ginger the singular. That's like that's, that's the guy. He's the gingerbread man. But now I sound crazy. Um, but listen, you can have anything you want. I just I think I think this little guy, you know, he's from Shrek. It's the gingerbread man. Not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. I owe you all more flag stickers. Um, <laughs> After that to rant. Atone for my sins. Um, <laughs> like one, every, every flag. Um, I'll put it on the website. You can do anything you want with it. Um, love you all. Thank you for listening. I'm sorry about the gingerbread man. Okay. Um, all right. Peppermint cake. <laughs> <laughs> now what do you got to say about the peppermint cake huh uh white cake great um <laughs> soaked in peppermint simple syrup layered with chocolate ganache peppermint mousse and peppermint crunch finished with buttercream holiday sprinkles and mint candy uh <laughs> wait why is it pink peppermint 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 right Mm, looks like strawberry yeah but that's the buttercream right yeah i mean look wait no where's the chocolate ganache or is it white chocolate ganache no i think it's white chocolate ganache Uh, of course it is um it looks okay looks okay (sighs) okay i'm gonna gonna breathe we're going to go to Rancho del Socalo Restaurante. Uh, chicken enchilada soup with curtido slaw, diced onions, cilantro, cheese flauta, and lime wedge. The, the cheese flauta is a nice touch. I appreciate that. Is this the... Dude, looks good. Yeah, it does look good. It looks really good. Huh. The bowl helps. I have a feeling it's going to be in those Disney... You know, standard bowls, but oh, the black plastic ones. Yeah, yeah. but the the like I said, the cheese flauta. That's nice. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a cheese flauta. Mm. Oh, I have from Costco. The ones Kevin hates. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tinga enchiladas, cheese enchiladas, chicken tinga. Uh, why am I saying it like that? It, it, it's fine. Poblano cream, queso fresco, rice, beans, and curtido slaw. I guess they got the bulk deal on the curtido this year. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Um, looks good. It's not going to be good though, right? No, absolutely not. No, listen. There's rain. I'm going to have you place a bet. If Kimmy's mom is cooking this week, is she making pozole, enchiladas, or chicken tinga? I'm going with pozole because it's cooling down. I feel like it's pozole because every time I get back from Mammoth, she makes pozole and usually the little potato tacos, and I eat mm-hmm. way too many. Good stuff. Why did I hear myself through your mic for like 10 seconds? Am I on speaker? You are on speaker. That's crazy. But I've been, uh, you've been on speaker this whole time. So only if I talk really loud, I show up. All right. Yeah. Hello. That didn't show up. Anyway. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Tim Apple, step it up. Um, stop. Oh, you know what it is? Mm-hmm. I think it's when I laugh and you talk at the same time. It doesn't. It's help. not canceling my. It's not canceling your voice, right? Yeah. Dude, listen. 
guys, I know we're going to have to like edit this, massage out the sound, but it's not like terrible, right? There are, pod- I mean, there are podcasts that sounds wor- sound worse than this. And I'm on, on speakerphone on my, my iPhone. Now, <laughs> 15 Pro. Yes. Right? Shot on iPhone. <laughs> we're gonna put Recorded shot- on iPhone. I'm going to put shot on iPhone on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Anyways, we should get back to the show because we're going to be here forever. At least you don't have to drive home. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Or edit or anything. Um, okay. Where are we? Oh, uh, chocolate flan cake. Always good there, actually. Uh, iced Mexican peppermint chocolate. Cold hot chocolate, whipped cream, crushed peppermint, chocolate shavings. Okay. Wait. Cool. What's Mexican about it? Is it? Are they doing I think it? It's- They're not doing it. I think it's the chocolate. It's the, the abuelita. With peppermint? Maybe. I don't know about that, man. A cinnamon and peppermint? Yeah. Uh, that's going to be like... Yeah, okay. Anyways, Red Rose Tavern. Here it is, everyone. The wonderfully, creatively named Christmas stuff. <laughs> Green colored gray stuff. Moose with a brown sugar cake. And lingonberry jam topped with holiday sprinkles and a white chocolate star. So this is actually different flavored, like new. Because the lingonberry. And the brown sugar cake. It's not red velvet. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what would we is, name this? Is lingonberry the Ikea stuff? Oh, dude, you're asking the wrong guy. I think it is. I think it is. Uh, then we got the... They got the gingerbread cookie there. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, okay. Refreshment Corner has Santa's vacace, Vacation Sausage Potato. Uh, <laughs> but I'm I'm like hearing like Santa's Vacation Sausage, and I don't like that. But um, <laughs> with pickled pineapple teriyaki sauce with mac salad on a baked potato. This is an abomination. <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. <laughs> no. I'm the Mac Salad boy, and I don't like this. What's you don't going? want Santa's vacation I, sausage? I don't. I don't want Santa's <laughs> vacation sausage. Smack down in the middle of a big potato. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, uh, yeah. What is Christmas about this? Oh, vacation sauce. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, okay. He's going to Hawaii. Um, tan everywhere. This is claws everywhere. Um, warm spiced apple tea with hints of cinnamon and clove topped with vanilla cream foam. Huh. Listen, listen, if you're not going to put alcohol in this stuff, don't do the weird things. All right. <laughs> All right. Pearl Street Veranda. Uh, soup in a bread bowl. Chicken gumbo, though. Apparently, oh. apparently it's not new, but I haven't heard of it. Yeah, me either. Looks good uh coffee fritters and cinnamon sugar with white mocha sauce and praline sugar streusel finally they're putting sauce on this thing because these are dry that's what i heard that they're dry yeah a crackling hot chocolate topped with sweet marshmallow (coughs) creme topping dark chocolate popping candies garnished with red orange and yellow sprinkles wait really quick can you hear me cough i heard that one you did uh okay it's dude we can't we you're allowed to cough I know, but it's like disgusting. Um, fireplace hot chocolate with smoky marshmallow creme topping and dark chocolate popping candies garnished with smoked salt and paprika. Cool. I'm in. I like I like the spice. The spice, dude. Uh, Tomorrowland. Oh, good. This is a tea, so we're nearing the end. Tomorrowland. Oh, of Disneyland. Tomorrowland Skyline Terrace. No. You know what? No one's going here. Skip. <laughs> Stage door cafe, holiday wreath, funnel cake returns. Golden horseshoe as a gingerbread sundae, gingerbread cake with vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, holiday sprinkles, and garnish. Dude, I maybe. Oh, it's a sundae. Is, I want. That. Is that the middle one? Yeah, dude. No, I want the big cup that they do. Yeah, yeah. What are they doing? Yeah. Uh, but Troubadour Tavern as the holiday beef dinner potato with sliced tri-tip steak. Spinach artichoke dip, demi glace, and crispy onions. 
dude, wow. Okay. I didn't expect this. Spinach artichoke dip under a tri-tip is insane. That is. Dude, I feel like. In a baked potato? Yeah. I feel like Matthew and Jeff would be all over this. Yeah, 100%. I'm going to text them. Uh, Matthew. Let's, how do you tag on? Uh, At. No, like I'm trying to do okay. Okay, turkey dinner potato with pulled turkey uh, returns. Holiday magic popcorn. Are they going to mess this up? White chocolate flavored popcorn with pretzel sticks, assorted M&M's milk chocolate candies, and crushed peppermint. No freeze-dried Skittles. We did it, boys. <laughs> we did it. I don't know why I'm putting my fist in the air like anyone could see, but this... <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah this I'm, is in. It. I'm in, dude. I'm in. So good looking um and holiday cold brew dark chocolate cold brew with cookie butter topper and sugar cookie dude cool what does that dude, sugar... shout... go ahead shout out to Troubadour tavern just in general that's how that all sounds great oh and they have the thing going on there oh that's right yeah, okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. uh dude uh what does that cookie look like to you do you remember a green box of cookies from childhood Mm, no. Jingles. Gee, no idea what that is. Oof. If you remember Jingles out there, let me know. Matthew replied, ooh. Uh, Kimmy is watching the live updates from everyone. Kimmy's watching the penguin. This is very good. Okay. Uh, churros near Big Thunder Mountain is the holiday peppermint chocolate dipping sauce. Churros near Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters is the cranberry churro. Citrus white chocolate dipping sauce and cranberry flavored sugar, maybe. Um, and Sleeping Beauty Castle has the peppermint hot cocoa churro returning and a new chocolate peppermint marshmallow dipping sauce with mini marshmallows and crushed pepper. Dude, now they're putting toppings on the dipping sauce. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they got to chill out. Uh, popcorn near Haunted Mansion has the holiday treats mix in. Oh, okay. This I had this last year and I really liked it. Oh, but I don't remember the candied pecan pralines. Right. Not a fan of candied pecan pralines. Yeah. Toffee pretzel <laughs> returns. People love that. Uh, and Candy Palace has the Santa mini cake pop, a Yule log mini apple, candy cane bark, gingerbread Mickey cereal treat, holiday marshmallow wand, holiday mini cake pop. Holiday tree cereal. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm done. Peppermint yeah. patties, though. Cool. So, it's time for California Adventure. <laughs> but not the Festival of Holidays. Angry Dogs. Has a Bottle Logic Brewing Fuzzy Logic Hazy Peach IPA. A lot of words. A lot of words. That, just to say that it's gross. <laughs> Uh, get that IPA out of my face. Um, wait, what did we? Oh, it's because Angry Dogs has the Moana food. Is that what it was? That was in the I... does it have the Moana? That's where the Moana food was. That's where the there was a the, the, something pork. The Angry Dogs. Oh no, award wieners. Never mind. There, wait, they're yeah. just selling beer at Angry Dogs now. I guess so. That's cool. I mean, I guess what near Angry Dogs, what's the closest uh, beer place? Oh, sneaky. Yeah, well, that's by um, the closest one's by Jumpin' Jellyfish. What's that called? Bayside, Bayside Brews. Brews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aunt Cass Cafe has a plant based sourdough bread. Yeah, no crap. Uh, candy cane sourdough bread, snowman sourdough bread. Uh, Mickey gingerbread cookie, which is not plant based, and they have an also not plant based milk and cookies cold brew, cookie butter cold brew cereal milk and chocolate cookie foam, non alcoholic. Dude, straight up, they better watch out. I'm about to go mess this cold brew up, dude. Oh my god, that sounds fantastic. This is not going to taste like a cold brew. No, oh no, no you're no, just no. you're just drinking milk, but that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna say now. Before I get mad later, anti shout out to Ann Cass's Cafe. 
Whoa, what happened? Be- I got the Yuzu Lemonade Cold Brew. Ew. Have you seen this? No. It's literally cold brew with lemonade. Yeah, dude. Okay. <laughs> I went to a coffee shop. And they had the or- some orange thing. Orange and coffee is a new thing. And I was like, okay, okay. I'm interested. I like David's orange uh, yeah. thing. But they just poured like a cold brew and then like Tropicana orange juice on it. And I'm like, bro. Yeah. You tried I thought it? you made something. I thought you made the orange juice or like an orange drizzle or something. No. They just poured the orange juice. And it was good. But I'm like, what was this? What did you think was happening right now? Did you think you were... <sighs> Like they weren't even hiding it, dude. They just pulled out the weird Tropicana bottle with the orange cap and just, <laughs> just poured it on the top of coffee. And I was like, okay, that was not worth like eight dollars or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. Same thing I didn't cast is with the lemonade. It was just lemonade and coffee. I mixed it together and I wanted a gag. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, dude, they should have put some Bailey's in here. Yeah. Uh, gingerbread cheesecake, a boardwalk pizza, and pasta. Dude, you know what? I feel like it's going to be in some other stupid foodie guide. I don't see a bread pudding. I don't either. That's probably going to be on Festival of the Holidays because oh, it's yeah. probably going to be part of the tabs. Oh, right, right, right. Good call. Good call. We've been yeah. doing this for a while, dude. This is a... Uh... No, not our fifth foodie guide because we didn't, they didn't have one, but booty and bread cart has the same stuff. Uh... Cappuccino cart has the Mickey gingerbread cookie, so that's a that's good. But they have a cold brew martini. It's a cold brew with vodka and butterscotch cold foam. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I'm liking their cold brew with alcohol. I didn't try the peanut butter one. Uh, <sighs> Mortal Cinnamite, dude. Uh, that was man. I could eat that every day of my life. It'll be back next year. Yeah. Uh, Clarabelle's has a warm chocolate float, rich warm chocolate, and Hagen Dazs peppermint bark ice cream garnished with whipped cream and crushed candy cane. I think it's cool. that picture. That looks great to me. Yeah, it does. Uh, Corn Dog Castle has a peppermint hot chocolate and a pumpkin spice hot chocolate. Very interesting. Is that the same picture just reversed? That's hilarious. Yeah, what, <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> What do they, they think was happening? <laughs> Who do they think they're fooling? I don't even think they're trying to fool anyone. I think they're just... Oh, yeah, one picture's smaller than the other. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hold on. Open image, a new tab. I want to know what they called it. Collage, DCA, Cappuccino Cart, Clarabelle's, Corn Dog Castle. Interesting. <laughs> What's the blue thing? Is that the cold brew with the cold brew martini? Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyways, so, <laughs> man. Yeah, I think that's the peppermint hot chocolate and the pumpkin spice hot chocolate. The one's just really yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but at Cozy Cone Motel 1, churros. There's the coffee chip churro. Churro dusted with cinnamon sugar and coffee drizzled with coffee chip cream cheese frosting topped with chocolate pieces. Pass. Fire truck slushy, okay. Um, and strawberry slushy margarita with tequila. Okay. Cozy cone two has the Christmas tree cone. That's back. It's totally fine. Uh, chicken pesto cone is back again. Meh. Cozy cone four, watermelon lemonade is new. Non-alcoholic though. And then they have like a gingerbread mule, a watermelon chamoy tequila cocktail, and a watermelon michelada. So that's cool. No uh, rum chata slush, though. RIP, unless some weird festival holiday stuff. Uh, Starbucks has the Mickey Gingerbread. Flo's V8 has. What is that? Hatch Chili Burger. Choice of Angus beef and mushroom patty or Angus beef patty. So you can get one with. Good. Yeah. Uh, with spicy chorizo cheese sauce, Hatch Chili Relish, and iceberg lettuce. Served on an Amish bun. Rain? We, we gotta go, dude. We flowing, dude? 
Yeah, we, I think we're flowing. I, when when have we ever said let's go to flows? Uh, Other than on Oogie Boogie, dude. You know what though? I know why you're gonna skip the burger because you're just gonna get chicken tenders with this spicy chorizo cheese sauce on the side. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that sounds great. Dump it on top, dude. But they also have gingerbread shake, uh, cactus jack wheat ale. Wait, Is that Travis what? Scott? Did he sell it though? Hamilton family. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Seaborn blueberry margarita. Isn't that like the bottle? I think so. Uh, and a pomegranate margarita. An unsung brewing company, St. Nick R. Doodle. Imperial blonde ale. An imperial blonde. Okay. I don't know what that means. Um, but okay. Sounds. Well, the name Imperial. Cool. <laughs> uh Hollywood Lounge has the Kinder Punch with apple cider, hibiscus, and a cherry. <laughs> non alcoholic, but Carajillo. Coffee with liquor 43 served over ice. What's a carajillo, Rain? No idea. There's a holiday marg, pomegranate slushy margarita. Ooh. That sounds great. Yep. Mission Brewing Winterland Winter Wonderland White Chocolate Stout. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. Sugar Cookie Cocktail Almond Milk with Agave Vanilla Vodka and Irish Cream Liqueur. Yep. Okay. You put in the Irish Cream Liqueur. What's the point of the almond milk? Mm, more milky? I don't, I don't know. No, but like it's not plant-based. So what's the point of the like why almond milk? I guess to not put milk, like have maybe. more watery. I don't know. Easier to store, or maybe it take makes it taste more like the sugar cookie. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, Jack Jack Cookie Num Num has the glowing Jack Jack Cookie, dude. I never see people eating these. Yeah, me either. Um, it it came and went. Yeah. Uh, Lamplight Lounge Boardwalk Dining has Crown and Hops <laughs> Brewing Company Slay Stout. Dark maple vanilla pecan stout. Sounds good. And a Java martini. Tequila coffee liqueur liqueur 43 and hazelnut cream cold foam. Okay. So that's a, an espresso martini with tequila? And with cream. Wait, what's, the, what's liqueur 43? I have no idea. Huh. Let's see. Liqueur 43. Discover. Spanish liqueur. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Okay, Lamplight Lounge, dude. Oh, finally, some seasonal around. stuff. Yeah. Barbacoa tamale. No, it's just a tamal. Okay. With pumpkin mole, pickled onions, crema, queso fresco, and toasted pumpkin seeds. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's tamales, though. It's two. Yeah. Okay. So, that. okay. All right. All right. I take it back. But, uh, dude. Nicole in Florida, she doesn't know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Dude, hands okay. down. Tell me why. Tell me why. Um, some guy at work, uh, unnamed. Um, he's cool. He's fine. Um, he's been showing up with tamales, right? Because some uh -huh. people keep giving the the person giving him the tamales gives him extra. So he he's given me one a few times. So dude, you know how like sometimes the masa it like it it crawls out of the husk a little bit. So you sure. just gotta like peel it weird. Uh huh. So imagine you peel the husk out, and then like inside of the masa, there's like a strip of husk that you gotta pull out too. Inside of the masa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's they're trying That's to kill weird. them or something. Yeah, it's that is really weird. odd. But they taste bomb, so I don't want to complain too much. Okay, <laughs> uh, but dude, we're going so many times. Because that yeah. I'm eating that. And Kimmy's not going to want to try any because I don't think she likes mole. Um, holiday half chicken, kabocha squash puree, glazed Brussels sprouts, roasted hen of the woods mushroom, chicken nage, and pea tendrils. Man, that's, that sounds fancy. Uh-uh, dude. What's fancy? Prime rib. 
<laughs> Herb oh. salt crusted with cheesy potato, haricot burts, which is just green beans, wasabi cream, and au jus. Dude, look at the look, the cheesy potato is on the side. That woo. oh man, dude, that looks so good. But my dad made prime rib the other day, and that was also amazing. But looks great. Apple crisp alamo donuts. I'm good. I don't like. I don't. You like, don't like the hot apple, right? I don't like cooked apple. I love cooked apple. No. Um, Give me it. And then Crown and Hops Brewing Company, Java Martini, but. Oh, two towns cosmic crisp side. Dude, it's in a can. <laughs> yeah, okay. Although cosmic crisp, that's the apple. Anyways, uh, shout out Lamplight Lounge. Good stuff. Lucky Fortune Cookery has the Santa Baymax macaron with peppermint buttercream chocolate ganache and dark chocolate crunchies. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Three milk ube tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ube tea with brown sugar tapioca pearls topped with coconut foam. What, what's the three milk? Uh, condensed, evaporated, and milk. <laughs> More milk Man. per milk, dude. So yeah. Milk, one pill per leche. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Outdoor vending locations has the honey baked cookie leg with pineapple ring. Orchata cotton candy. Interesting. Holiday mimosa? That's got to be... In a can. And yeah. uh, Coronado we, Brewing Company Weekend Vibes IPA. Rain, what's going on with IPAs? Why is everything an IPA now? I love IPAs. I Here's my thing. I heard this about seasonal IPAs, but now I think it's just all IPAs. You mess up a batch, just throw hops in it, and now it's an IPA. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. But, Dude, this um, this next one is exactly what you were talking about. Port of San Francisco said the Seria. Breakfast croissant with bacon, eggs, jalapenos, cheese, green onions, and sesame seeds. Huh. I'm down. A breakfast croissant sounds so good okay, right now. Only if it's all day, dude. Ah, you're right. Dude, you know how often I'm like, I can go for like a breakfast burrito or a sandwich right now, and then yeah, they're just like eggs are for the morning only. I'm like, the chicken's in a lamb today. All right, it's okay. <laughs> ah, all right, schmoozies, gingerbread Mickey waffles. Interesting. They're flavored with gingerbread spices. So it's not the powdered sugar. Served with the side of syrup. But dude, yeah. why, why does that syrup look like some sort of peppermint cream? It does. Oh, dude. Bunuelo shake. Cinnamon <gasps> sugar shake topped with whipped cream, the real stuff, and garnished with a house fried bunuelo. I'm going to call their bluff. This is not. This is not old. I've never heard of this. Oh, it doesn't say new. No, um, I don't. I don't believe that. No, I think that looks good, man. Yeah, There's no way does. we would have seen this. Yeah, and an elf Mickey shake, mint and chocolate cookie shake, garnished with green whipped cream and crushed peppermint candy. Man, those are some prominent Oreos right there. Oh yeah, dude, they paid up. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does it say? No, it doesn't say. Yeah, looks. They're Chocolate just, cookie. They're just like they're they're not buying Hydrox just to hide the Oreo logo, you know. Yeah. Smoke Jumpers Grill. Um look, it's like punches and stuff, all right? I'm just gonna move on because the food's gonna be in the other guide. Wine Country yeah. Trattoria, though, has a chocolate brulee tart. Uh chocolate brulee and a tart shell, plant based. Oh. So far though, no plant based food, huh? Not that I've seen. Just bread. Where's did we get anything from um What's the place by uh, by Goofy's? Corn Dog Castle? No, 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 the other one. Uh, Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta? No, the other one. Oh, no, that's a Plaza de Familia, probably. Oh, okay. Which is continuing from Halloween. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. So that'll be, maybe it's, I don't know, we'll see. Bing Bongs, Yule Log, we already talked about these. Yeah, no. uh, skip Goof- Goofy's Kitchen celebrates the holidays. Broken Spell Lounge. Wow. We're here, dude. Prime beef French dip. Prime sirloin Havarti cheese. Caramelized onions and au jus. Served a choice of fries, fruit, or chips. Shrimp and grits. Already available, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't say new. 
cheesecake with bourbon salted caramel sauce, chocolate marshmallow old fashioned. With graham cracker, chocolate infused Woodford bourbon, Tempest, Fuji, creme de cacao, brown sugar molasses, syrup, chocolate bitters, wood smoke, and mini marshmallows. Cold Manhattan, adult eggnog, dude, house made eggnog with Pierre Ferran cognac and wow. Smith and Cross Jamaican pot still rum. Five golden rings, golden eagle vodka, Saint Germain elderflower liqueur, ginger, rosemary, and cranberry flavors, mulled wine, the peppermint kiss, prickly pear French seventy five, and a Thanksgiving mule. Uh, dude, look at that. That's they they care about it now. They gave it a name. Yeah, uh, I I feel like I gotta send this to the boys. Um, let's see. Freddie, why are you sending a picture of McDonald's right now? What's going on? <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm going to reply to him and say please tell me you got uh 10 nugs for a dollar once a week. Did you hear about this? Uh I know. I did not. Uh let's see. It's it, they they advertise it $1 equals 10 McNuggets. You know why I know this? Because uh when you're road tripping, uh, you don't trust the Podunk Town, and you just go to the McDonald's because they have a bathroom. Yeah, and I just ate chicken nuggets. Nice. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Victorville <laughs> or Palm. Shout out, dude. And uh, <laughs> Lone Pine McDonald's. You all know which one. You all know which one. Okay. Coffee House has holiday macarons, gingerbread cookie, holiday cookie. Oh, eggnog latte, iced eggnog latte, iced peppermint mocha, cranberry refresher, s'mores hot chocolate, toasted marshmallow cold foam, tiramisu cold foam. All right. Uh, pumpkin spice latte, hot peppermint mocha, and chai ginger latte. No alcohol in any of these, but no, they sell hard. alcohol there, right? Like you can just like. Hey. I think they do. But rain. Trader. This Sands. is what this is what we've been waiting for. Ponche, tequila de Mag del Magüe, Vida Mezcal, Saint Elizabeth All Spice Drum, Guava Lime, and Falernum Syrup. No Shout problem. out to Ponche during Christmas, dude. Yeah, is that the one? That's not the one on the left. That's got to be the center. No, I think it's the one on the left. That's not the Spice Bourbon Sour. I think that's the one in the center. Huh. Buffalo Bourbon, Falernum Syrup, and Lemon Juice. Okay. And the sweater weather, El Dorado rum, frangelico liqueur, coffee, and vanilla syrup. Huh. But what's that red stuff? That's gotta be good the, question. It's gotta be the guava, dude. Good question. I know guava is not red, but like it's just whenever I have ponche, it looks like the left one. But I guess that could be a bourbon. That's more of a bourbon you drink. Yeah. yeah I, don't bourbon. Know. I don't know. The guava might be on the right. True. They're, they're not telling us the, the garnish because the garnishes are on there. Anyways, yeah. uh, let's see what the mug looks like this year. Disney's Grand Californian has the Great Hall cart and Storytellers has the dinner buffet and a holiday pajama party, but rain. Pixar Place Hotel. Great Maple. Pomegranate glazed donuts. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> If they're free, they're for me. Oh, you still haven't done that? No, I, I don't know where the card is. I got to find it. Rain. Rain. Huh. The Sketchpad Cafe. Oh, a new new challenge. Dude, three new challengers so far. Dark chocolate cranberry overnight oats. Gingerbread whoopie pie. Very Canadian. Is that uh, turning red? Yeah, probably. Uh, holiday cookie. Cute. Holiday brownie with holiday icing and crushed peppermint. Caramel apple cider. Cookie butter oat milk latte. Uh. Cold brew coffee with cookie butter flavoring topped with whipped cream and sugar sprinkles. White chocolate peppermint mocha. And then... It, oh my God, is man. this the one next to Great Maple or the one uh, on the roof? It's next to Great Maple. Okay. 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 Downtown Disney uh, has, um, at Ballast Point, Holiday Salmon, Skin On, 
pan roasted salmon with butternut squash puree, sauteed quinoa, pomegranate sherry reduction, and baby spinach salad garnish. Beignets Express has the peppermint twist beignet, red, white, and candy cane. Oh, red and white candy cane icing topped with holiday green sprinkles. California churro has an eggnog churro. Santrico chicken mole tamales, probably better than the ones at Lamplight. Yep. Gan- <laughs> okay, I'm reading it properly, I guess. Cancun Vacacion. Tequila Blanco, Campari, pineapple juice, lime juice, orgy, and passion fruit. Okay. And the chili chata, horchata, spiced rum, and cinnamon whiskey. I might be down, dude. That sounds great. Cinnamon whiskey is gross, but when you put it in horchata. And then we're talking. Yeah. We're fighting ball. Okay. Macarons, Jazz Kitchen, the mistletoe, strawberry and cream liqueur with cake flavored vodka. Uh, Naples, I think this is all returning. Gingerbread cannoli, sparkling cider mocktail, Christmas colada, uh, Santa Margarita cocktail. <laughs> That's funny. Marceline's has all the stuff from inside. Paseo, dude. Here it is. Ponche Navideno, Navideño. Traditional Christmas punch. Non-alcoholic. Yeah, that, lo- that looks like ponche. Yeah. Uh, Café Invierno. Are those olives? I don't know. If that is all, that's just, no. I think it's nan, nanche. I think it's nanche. What's nanche? I don't know. They they look like little balls like that. It looks like like weird cranberries. Mm, maybe that too. Maybe that. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Uh, and then there's the tequila blanco. Oh, cafe invierno. Tequila blanco, dark espresso liqueur, Irish cream liqueur, and coffee. You know what Invierno is? Sick, right? No. That's it. No. That's the other one. Invierno. And that's, that's not Infermo. winter. It is winter. It is? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got, in, yeah, I got Infermo. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Close, dude. And when, when, do yeah. you, when do you get sick? In the winter. You know what this in reminds your... me of? <laughs> Guys, try to guess. Kimono is come from the Greek word kimona. It means <laughs> winter. And what do you wear in the winter when it's cold outside? A robe. Kimono, kimona, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Dude, that I used to know th- I used to know that whole movie by heart. <laughs> Give me a word. Any word. Uh-huh. And I Honestly, I you. thought you were doing Nandor the whole time. No, dude, it's from my big fat Greek wedding. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Give me a word, any word, and I show you the root of that word is Greek. <laughs> and, he, and then he brings out the Windex. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, arachnophobia. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You know what they should put on this menu? A moussaka. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Salt and straw. Enjoy various limited time holiday flavors. Cool. I saw the I saw the menu, um, in Disney World, and it is very well. November is very like turkey based, but it's some some good stuff. Huh, turkey baster. Um, yeah. nieve margarita. I forgot that at Paseo. Tequila reposado. Orange liqueur. Cranberry juice. Lime juice. Simple syrup. That sounds fine. Okay. Splitsville holiday in parade. Okay, cream, <laughs> coconut, sweetened condensed milk, cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, and rum. Uh, and then they have a peppermint chocolate cheesecake, which is rich chocolate cheesecake infused with peppermint, layered in an Oreo crust, topped with chocolate drizzle and candy cane pieces. Tiendita has the holiday bunuelo with just like cute decorations. Wetzel's pretzels. Ooh. Dude, they have the frozen hot chocolate from Ghirardelli there. Oh, And the okay. peppermint frozen hot chocolate. They've already had it. Like, I've, I saw it. Yeah. All right, there's a Dumbo novelty clip, Elf Stitch. Um, this is crazy, dude. The amount of things, little things that they're selling now. Gold glitter, Mickey shaped jingle, Goofy and Max ski straw clip. Yeah, whatever. You know what, Rain? Looks like an ornament. It does. You gonna do it? Nope. Look at no more cochinero. <laughs> 
uh, holiday fluted glass, holiday popcorn bucket, stainless steel tumbler, travel tumbler, uh, the the buckets, the toy, the drummer, the glow cube, jingle bell blow, glow cube, Mickey elf bucket. That's not even a bucket anymore. That's just Mickey as an elf. A jingle bell sipper again. How many Santa Sully bucket? Who asked for that one? Uh, <laughs> kids picks. Uh, they just name the desserts. And somehow the thanks Miss sandwich, dude, let me know if your kid is eating a sandwich with stuffing gravy and cranberry sauce. Okay. <laughs> or the chicken pesto cone. Yeah. <laughs> let me know. Uh, I don't believe them. Uh, I'll believe <laughs> you, but come on, come on Disney. Um, but that is just the regular foodie guide. Rain. How, how do you feel? How do you feel about this? Uh, I'm actually like really impressed. There's a lot of really good stuff on there that I'm excited to try. Uh, yeah. What, what do you think? Like, you say you're gonna eat that pizza. Um, yeah, I am. Darth by peppermint. Interesting. Yeah, right. I will eat that. Uh, peppermint cold brew float, maybe the hot gingerbread cookies. Fresh that bake. will happen. That yeah. will happen. Uh, you say that you're getting both the chocolate coffee loaf and the croissant. Is the croissant the big winner or? The croissant's the big winner for really, me. Really? Um, prime rib might be up there too. Yeah. Uh, wagonade. Uh, you never know. <laughs> Freaking uh, wagonade. Dude. Uh, yeah. Cool. This uh, gingerbread person cake. Maybe. <laughs> uh, chicken enchilada soup, though. I'm kind of, I'm in. You got to go to get, get, I know you just had chilies, but you got to get the one in chilies. Good stuff. <sighs> you know what? If the if we're doing the boys trip, I'm done with the triple dipper, dude. I almost died today. That yeah, was... I can't, I've never I've never been able to do the triple dipper. Well, I gave Kev and my mom half of a the mozzarella <laughs> stick and an entire egg roll. Um, yeah. But when what time was that? Like two? Yeah. I haven't eaten since then. Yeah. Uh. Okay, dude. Jeff is all in. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy saying? <laughs> <laughs> with the bloom <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I wish you guys could see this <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just happy that Jeff can enjoy something outside of the thing alright <laughs> anyways uh, we will maybe try the Christmas stuff but probably not. we probably won't get to it I'm not eating Santa's vacation sausage um <laughs> <laughs> I might get a chicken gumbo. Um, wait, we missed tomorrow. Oh, you're right. No, uh, tomorrow on Skyline Terrace because there's a naughty cookies and cream cake. How naughty is it? Um, the uh, let's see. Me that potato seems interesting at Troubadour, but popcorn is what I'm in for. Uh, and the popcorn near Haunted Mansion. Let's see. And um, I'm not going to drink that ube thing because it might kill me. But I'm excited for those enchiladas at Lamplight. But Rain, oh. I, I'm like, I'm I'm planning this year. We're going to talk about the food. We're going to do it, I think. Um, but I want to make that commitment. I'm going to try to go every Monday, dude. Oh, wow. Like, I'm just I'm just going to go on Mondays, whether I go alone or with Kimmy or you show up or anyone yeah. is just there. I'm going to be trying foods. I don't need cool. to try everything, but like I want, I want it, dude. I want to soak in the Christmas this year. Yeah, me too. I don't want to mess it up. Me too. But um, we are gonna take a short break that you guys won't notice because uh, I need some water, uh, and I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, Rain, cool. should I leave it recording, or is the giant file easier if we cut it? No, 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 no. Leave it recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't hang up. I'm, I'll be right. Back. No, I'm gonna grab photo. Yeah. So, we're now moving on to Disney Eats Foodie Guide to Disney Festival of Holidays 2024 at Disneyland Resort. You know, I'm glad we're at least knocking these out, you know? Yeah. You know, twice. I, I, I was going to do my, my We Have It So Good for my Disney World trip. Oh, no, but dude, I, that's going to be in the next episode. Yeah, that's next week. That's next week. Uh, that's our topic next week, somewhat. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay, cool. The uh, guys, if if you've made it this far, 
you can write in. It's about Disney in big groups. That is more, a lot to say. more than four people. If yeah. if you had a crazy trip with four people, that works too. So, moving on to the festive food marketplace, because guys, the festival is back. It does it feel like it's been forever. It wait, 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 wait okay. Say that again. Like, I feel like we missed food and wine this year. Yeah, you yeah. and I, and then Pixar Fest was a dud. That was that was like that was horrible. Like I hope I'm not speaking too soon. It feels like we're back, right? If if that first foodie guide is anything is telling of what this foodie guide is gonna be, we're back. Yeah, let's see. Will they succumb to the Florida influence? Or to the back? mac and cheese everywhere. Yeah, so uh new at a twist on tradition. Barbecue pulled pork, cornbread, bake. With creamy slaw. So, did they shove pulled pork into the cornbread? If they did, I'm it. Wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. It's the center one. No, it's not. It is. Hmm. Nope. It's the left one. Dude. It's tiny. Yeah. Those, you've seen those cups. They're very small. But that looks good. This is what I'm talking about. Shove pulled pork inside cornbreak. Cor- yeah. What, whatever I said. I don't. It's 9.15 p.m. Um, anyways, looks very good to me. But then there's also the turkey galantine croissant muffin slider with herb mayo and cranberry marmalade. <sighs> so close. Dude, I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. That's not good. Dude, think of what this is. They're not going to put a lot of mayo, and it's not going to taste like mayo. I see mayo sticking out, dude. I don't right think on the bottom. Me- no, you're fine, dude. <sighs> you're fine. Nah. What what's hold on, hold on. Turkey Galantine. Uh dark and light meat. Um Okay, it's just they just remove the meat from the bones. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'll try it, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. All right. Cause I know I know the Mayo people. I'm not gonna convince you like if, if it's bad. Yeah. One second, everyone. Nope, seems that's not coming. Ugh, worst. Nah. And the berry pomegranate Paloma is back, but looks looks good. But as we say with these drinks, you're going to get ripped off. Right? Look at all that ice. Yeah. But Bruise and Bites has chicken chicharron with basmati rice, herb chutney, and masala drizzle. Be careful with the chicken chicharron, dude. Why? Be careful. Because a lot of the times, it's just like packaged chicharrones, uh-huh. but they're chicken. Yeah, but that looks good, does it not? Yeah, that's just Brandy had it on something at Disney, and I forgot what it was. But it was just like it's fine. It's if as long as you're okay with that. What? Hold on. What? I want to know who's not okay with that. It's because, like, to me, a lot of the times chicharrones are like. It's like meat, meat, meat. You know what I mean? Not just like that dry stuff you get in a bag. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, I I love chicken skin, so this sounds good to me. Yeah, no, it does. It does sound good though. I'm done. Oh no, Emily writes in. It's a birdie. It's birdie and Brea. Yeah. Bray, I'm just gonna write Brea betrayed us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Emily. Who is at work right now? Um, okay. So, it, l- listen. The reason I like this rain, this would scare a Floridian. Hey, oh, dude! This, chicken, this would have chicken them shaking chicharron, in their boots. Basmati rice, herb chutney, masala drizzle. That's all, dude. Yeah, they're, <laughs> dude. They're climbing yeah. back into the swamp. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I'm in. Passion fruit rose lassie, passion fruit nectar, yogurt, and rose and honey syrups garnished with a rose petal. Uh, okay. doesn't say non-alcoholic, but I think it is. Um, but sounds fun. Stone brewing. Gar- oh, this is bruise and bites. Did we mention that? Yes. Okay. A uh, bunch, dude. It's the beer place. 
Um, yeah. And holiday IP, many IPAs, stouts, seltzers. Uh, a Jamaica hard seltzer. I read it as Jamaica and got excited, but here we are. <laughs> uh, beer flight, uh, churro ale. Um, but yeah, fun. But favorite things, Rain, has the sticky toffee pudding macaron, which is Mickey shaped chocolate macaron filled with vanilla buttercream, date cake, and salted toffee oh. sauce. Okay. Huh? Okay. All right. So, something new, the dates, you know? So, something new, but here's something old. The braised pork belly <laughs> adobo with garlic rice returns as it should. Rain. Uh, that, that thing, guys, it's one of the best things there. Straight up. Just eat it. Yeah, it is. You have to like melty fat, though. I know this is going to be a rip offering. But the spiced coconut cocktail with dark rum, spiced tea, coconut puree, evaporated and condensed milks garnished with nutmeg and a wafer stick. I'm so, I, rip me off, dude. I'm down. Dude, rip me off and throw me on the toilet. That sounds so <laughs> good. Yeah. So good, man. Like, I'm all in um, on that. Maybe, you know, throw it in a coffee cup, take it home. Because, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'd, I'd be, dude, I'd be fine. Uh, enough pills and we're all fine, you know. Um, yeah. Good life advice. No, it's not. Um, but yeah, that looks, dude, so far, interesting flavors, right? 100%. So far. 100%. Grandma's recipe has the, dude, the recur- returning barbacoa tamal de res with Oaxaca cheese, tomatillo salsa, and crema. You said this good tamale. Good, yeah. Uh, it is. Kimmy ate this like three times. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, this is like straight up just good. This one does have a kick to it. Yeah. Um, but that's that's a good thing. But dude, a cookie dough Yule log filled with chocolate chip cookie dough and white chocolate mousse covered with chocolate buttercream. Oh, I see that cookie dough sticking out right dude, there. Is that a rod of cookie dough in the center? Yeah, it is. Heck yeah, dude. Dude. I'm liking this. I'm. I want to just grab that and eat it like a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we oh, go, dude. That's dude, right, dude. We're so close. I think next year they're gonna get rid of that Yule log and it's gonna be Abuela's recipes. Because we have <laughs> Cafe de Oya cold brew, Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company, Mexico origin coffee, low fat and condensed milks, house made spice syrup with star anise, clove, and cinnamon. Topped with a chocolate dulce de leche sweet cream and garnished with a mini pan dulce. It's, it's like they, a, what they it? didn't even need to do the mini pan dulce, but I'm 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 here for it. That's how they make it worth sixteen dollars. Oh yeah, if not nineteen. But this is okay. I forget. Grandma's recipes just sounds Christmassy, but the festival of holidays is different cultures. Yeah. So, uh, interesting that the Indian food is with the beer. Um, that is interesting. Yeah, but uh, this is the this is the Mexico booth, dude. This looks good to me. It don't don't fix what isn't broken. All right, like yeah. that's a it's a top it's a, a tamal with topping, which I feel like you do at home anyway. Like you don't yeah. you don't just eat it out of the bag, right? Um, that the lady sold you, but here it is, Rain. It looks like they, they shoved it. Wait. What was Matthew whining about? He, okay, Holiday Duets has a new chorizo queso fundido. Oh, it's a mac and cheese. Yeah. Sorry, Matthew. Not whining. Um, With tortilla crunch. Okay. And then a savory kugel mac and cheese with herb breadcrumb, sour cream, and chives. And then you can get them together. On a big plate, half portion of each. So they they threw the mac and cheese booth here. Yeah, with, um, I'm I'm down for the queso fundido, but no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, but, and the krugel that sounds gross. Yeah, that sounds they both sound good, but this is gonna have the long line. Uh, cranberry Christmas mule, gin and elderflower, oh gin, elderflower and ginger liqueurs, cherry puree, cranberry and lime juices topped with citrus hard seltzer, garnished with a lime wedge gummy. Dude, I love mm. I love those fake lemon gummies. Yeah, they're pretty good. This looks, you know, this could taste good. Yeah, I'd grab it. Winter Sliderland returns with a new item: al pastor pork and pineapple slider on corn brioche. Dude, looks good. To okay, me. 
What is that sauce? You need to tell me what the sauce is. Al pastel pork, corn, uh, corn brioche. Huh. Is right? That, is that like a cilantro crema or something? I think it is. I'm down for that. Okay. That's not mayo. And that's not horseradish. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, because the horseradish ketchup is on the beef brisket slider with smoked onions on a pretzel roll. You've had this, right? Good brisket. Uh, I think I have. I think I have. Yeah. I think you and Ozzy are not horseradish people, but you both like this thing. And I, yeah. I like it as well. So, uh, yeah. These both sound good to me. Need a good hearty item. Um, and a new non-alcoholic cookies and cream hazelnut hot cocoa, uh, hot cocoa with cookies and cream flavors, melted chocolate, hazelnut puree, and Irish cream syrup garnished with strawberry whipped cream. If you want a hot cocoa, this sounds like a good one. And the jelly donut punch, apricot nectar, house-made raspberry and strawberry jam syrup, cookie butter, lemon juice garnished with skewered powdered sugar donut hole. No, not alcohol. <laughs> um, solid booth, I would say. Yeah, yeah. All right, a little something old, something new. This is by by Ariel usually, right? Uh, I don't know. Grandma's was Grandma's was there sometimes, but now Grandma's is, I think, near uh Hollywood. Oh, know. okay. Do yeah, I don't know. They move stuff around. You could be totally yeah, right do. though. Um, did I miss something? Did you yeah. talk about the hot the hot oh. butter pecan? Hot butter pecan. Oh no no no! I missed both of the bottom ones. Hazelnut yeah. cookie hot cocoa cocktail. Cookies and cream hazelnut hot cocoa with Irish cream. But they also have the hot butter pecan bourbon cocktail. Bourbon apple cider butter and butter pecan syrup. Hmm. Butter and butter pecan syrups garnished with bitters. Apple butter pecan foam. I don't know what's going on with there. That's that's a typo. Yes. Yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. It's fine. Let's go to Merry Mashups, right? Holiday Mash Bowl. Chicken, cheddar mashed potatoes, and turkey gravy with cranberry stuffing crunch. Dude, just like KFC does it. I'm so down. Dude, I've never had the KFC bowl. No, they're good. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it, it's, okay. it's a scary thing to get, right? Yeah, it is. There's a lot of mashed potato. They put mac and cheese in it. I think you could get one with mac and cheese. But this sounds this sounds fun. This sounds yeah, fun. it does. Are those chicky nuggies or is that the like hash brown potato things? No, it's mashed potatoes. Dude, I think those are chicken. Good. That's chicken. It's chicken nuggets, dude. Yeah, it is. Dude, did you ever do that in grade school? Chicken nuggets and the mashed potatoes. Oh, that's the best, dude. Why? Why is that so, that's so good? Yeah. Uh, there's also the M and M's peanut butter fudge cake, chocolate fudge cake filled with peanut butter, no peanut praline and M and M's peanut butter minis. Excuse me. Glazed with salted <laughs> peanut butter and topped with vanilla chantilly cream. Mini peanut butter M and M's. Is that not a thing? That must be a new thing, dude. Because that's crazy. Um, and returning the glacier margarita. I actually kind of liked it. Tastes like a uh, blue Gatorade though. Which nice. I mean, Blue Gatorade's the best one. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Dude, these are all the booths. Cool. Promising. No, that, that sounds promising. Awesome. Solid. Yeah. I Look, you know what? We're so back. We're yeah. so back. Um, I think I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get tabs. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And that'll motivate you to go, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I can open a pack, Rain. Do I open a pack live on the air? Yeah, do it. I want to see. Okay, guys, if you don't know what this is, uh, we put it on Instagram. Pokemon TCG Pocket? Is that what it's called? Yes. Pokemon, the trading card game, Pocket. Uh, you can open, like, one free pack a day. There's a little pass, whatever. Okay, Rain, which pack? Charizard, Mewtwo, or Pikachu? Uh, Charizard is consistently the best one. So even doubles are fine? Because I have like a yeah. lot of them? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to open a Charizard. I think I have everything in this pack, dude. Anyway, no, I think only two. If not, go me too. Uh, it can't go back, huh? Oh, okay, and then Charizard's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to slice it open. Got a Doe Duo. 
Helioptile, Gullet, Gullurk, Go Lurk, and Bisharp. Freaking Bisharp. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Got Early. way too many of those. Yeah, I got I got some good stuff earlier. Um, anyways, it's fun. You could play for free. Wait, can I open another one? Who should I open now, right? Me too. Me too. Okay. Wait, I don't know if I can. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I'm gonna open a Mewtwo pack, everyone. Uh, I know John H is playing. Uh, I think Hector is playing. Hector's playing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Koga. <laughs> Sand. Oh, good card. Bulbasaur. Salazzle. And Sand Slash. <laughs> Dude, I got the I got the full art hollow Brock card though. Oh, you did? Yeah. I was wonder picking for it today from um Drew's Drew's Wonder Pick. And I, I missed it. I was so mad. I got a metapod instead. I was I like have, a slap in the face. I have 183 out of 226. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I've got. Well, we'll talk about this later. Okay. Uh, yeah, dude. These booths, I would probably nothing sounded bad, right? No. You just you're nothing. not in on the Kugel. Uh, but that's I'm just fine. not. You're just not, yeah. I'm not a fan of okay. that. But dude, that I think I'm most excited for the barbecue pulled pork cornbread bake and the turkey galantine croissant muffin. Hmm. That's fair. Yeah. I think that I'm most excited for the bake. Um, and also, uh, I'm kind of, I really want to get that cafe de olla, the cold brew. Nice. Yeah. I'll, dude, I kind of want the chicken chicharron with the basmati rice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, al pastor, I don't, dude, when they're, if they're not slicing the al pastor off of the, the spit, it's not as good, right? Yeah. No, hundred percent. It When it sits out, but, uh, also that mash, dude, the mashed potato bowl. Let's go. Yeah. So, Rain, you're right. Rain was right. Because that Aunt Cass Cafe, the pumpkin spice bread pudding with graham cat cracker crust topped with pumpkin cheesecake filling, whipped cream, graham cracker crumble, and espresso brown sugar sauce. Mm. You're fine with cheesecake filling, right? Not really, but we'll, we'll see. Pumpkin? Graham cracker? I think you could do it. I believe. Yeah, it. I think I can do it too. Uh, Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta though has the holiday pizza, roasted turkey with roasted butternut squash, cranberries, arugula, fig jam, and cranberry sauce. I I like those good biggie pizzas. Yeah, you know? me too. Is this me too? I'm kind of down for this though? too. Yeah, it doesn't say what the um, what the a, the base is, right? It might just be like a cheese bread. Yeah, which yeah, yeah that's okay too. Ooh, Disney Viva Navidad at Paradise Garden Grill. Chilaquiles carnitas torta. Red chilaquiles, refried beans, avocado spread, queso fresco, pickled onions, and a fried egg served with chips. Okay. Dude, look at that. Well, that's great. They're, you know what? They didn't say it, but there's carnitas on there. It's in the title. Yeah. That's, dude. Give me I'm a in. Chip sandwich. Let's go. <laughs> Esquite loaded chips. Chile lime chips smothered in corn kernels, cotija cheese, chili lime seasoning, and crema. All That's right. a pass. Get that corn out of my face. Uh, plant based huarache. There's finally one plant based item uh, with soy based chorizo beans, steak, seasoned steak tips with lettuce, cheese, avocado, crema, tomatillo salsa with Spanish rice, refried beans. And nopales pico de gallo. Hey, you know what? You plant-based folks, they tried something here. They did. This is a unique item. I'm sorry that this is like the only item, but it could be fun. R.I.P. Mm. R.I.P. The large torta during this time. Was that this time? I think so because Bar- I remember when Brandy and I went. I was sick and I was cold. Right, that thing, dude. That was so good. Yeah. Okay, Rain. I don't want you to scroll. So don't scroll. Okay. So it's not for this booth, but you're gonna you're gonna spoil it for yourself. Uh Chile Verde chicken patas are back. I'll pass tacos are back. Chocolate cake flan. 
back. Bonche de frutas. Traditional Mexican Mexican cold fruit punch, but you can get it with tequila. Nice. But rain. At Cappuccino Cart, there's a cinnamon caramel apple bundt cake drizzled with salted caramel with cream cheese frosting, which passed for me. But they have a peanut butter mocha cold brew. Oh, so, so it's the same thing, right? No. no. Is it? It doesn't say new. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't say new. So why does it look purple, though? Is it just a bad picture? Mocha cold brew. Yeah, I think so. Peanut butter whiskey, peanut butter whip, and peanut butter drizzle. Oh, this doesn't have the foam. Oh, okay. It's a whip. It's okay. It's a little different. Mocha cold brew. I think it's the mocha cold brew that's different. Got it. I'm down. Either way, sounds good. Uh, the non-alcoholic yeah. one has the peanut butter M and M's on top. Just put it on both, man. Uh, rain. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay, you're allowed to scroll now. Churros near Redwood Creek Challenge Trail and Willie's Churros at Buena Vista Street. Rain. There is a churro topped with marshmallow cream, peanut butter sauce, and chocolate chips. Okay. What is what's up with that name? Isn't it the fluffer nutter? Yeah, I did they hear us? Did they hear us make fun of the fluffer nutter too many times? Oh yeah, they didn't put the <laughs> It's just the peanut butter marshmallow churro. <laughs> so sophisticated. Yeah. The fluffer nutter. Uh rest in peace, my guy. Rest yeah. Rest in peace. He had a good run. Yeah. Um but the churro near Goofy Sky School and Senor Buzz Churros has the popcorn tin churro, white cheddar popcorn, dust, and caramel sauce topped with buttered popcorn. So it's, uh, you know, the tin? The tin is a churro. Who asked for that? Not a soul. <laughs> Not a soul. Is, you know what this is? Florida. It's a Florida yeah. item. Put some popcorn on a churro and we're good. No, yeah, like oh, you know the the Boy Scouts they sell the popcorn. Let's make a churro out of that. <laughs> uh, but I think this is a California item. The churros at Hollywoodland has the Dutch apple churro, dusted with cinnamon and holiday spices, drizzled with Dutch apple sauce, and garnished with holiday sprinkles. Huh. That's a heavy duty boy. Yeah, it is. At Clarabelle's. There's a holiday confetti cake with Hagen da Hagen das. Wait, they had that earlier, but they're back. Peppermint bark ice cream, chocolate drizzle, whipped cream, and sprinkles. That's just interesting looking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cocina Cucamonga is an even more interesting looking thing, dude. Holy. <laughs> Holy cow, Holy, dude. dude. <laughs> this is it. Fried arroz con leche rolled in cinnamon sugar served with dulce de leche whip and dulce de leche drizzle. Say less. Dude. Say less. <laughs> Fried <laughs> arroz con leche? Dude, is that... Is that is How is that possible? World's first? <laughs> <laughs> Disneylandia, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> They dude. invented the Dorito. Now they're inventing the fried arrows called leche. Dude. <laughs> two of these. Two of these. So we could we could split. Man. Man. Dude, imagine chopping this up and throwing it in your arroz con leche. Oh. <laughs> or like <laughs> Oh man. Dude. Man, looks great. There's also a spicy Jamaica agua fresca, and you can get it with tequila and chamoy if you'd like. But Man, yeah, dude, fried they, fried the hits keep hits keep coming, dude. Uh, oh, hello, <laughs> uh, hello there. Corn dog <laughs> castle has the holiday stuffing corn dog dipped in seasoned corn batter, fried to a golden brown, topped with cranberry mustard sauce. Uh, okay, I'm dude, in. Dude. Did they just put all their chips into this one festival? Because my God, everything sounds fantastic. Yeah, let's let's, dude. Good, man. It doesn't end. Apparently, this existed before. Sonoma Terrace, pan con pollo, braised chicken, oh, yeah. spiced tomato sauce, mayonnaise, mustard dressing on a French bread roll served with pickled vin- vegetable slaw. Yeah, looks great. Unsung brewing, chocolate snowball, imperial blonde ale. I don't know. 
Uh, there's the other Mickey gingerbread cookie and cotton candy pink. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rout row. <laughs> Smoke jumpers grill. Hearty loaded fries. Crinkle cut fries smothered with sausage country gravy and topped with fried chicken, shredded cheese, and green onions. <laughs> Say less, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh, man. Can I use a tab for that? If that's the case, holy cow. Who cares if you can use a tab or not, dude? Like, I'm going. <laughs> dude, catch me there every day. Oh, man. Rain, you have to. You, dude, we have to. This has to be the year. This has sure. to be the year that we eat. That, that yes. we eat because I have the episode planned. And I think it'll be good for us, man, to finally review some finally food, eat to just just <laughs> bring it back. Let's see. Yeah, right. it'll happen. Yeah, dude. I, it's episode two forty four, man. You have until December tenth. Can you do it? December tenth. Yeah, I can do it. We could. We could probably swap it if we have to. We could swap. Yeah, I can do to it to the last week. But let's let's try. Let's try. Um. Okay. They also have a Santa hat shake in a marshmallow coconut rimmed cup topped with whipped cream and marshmallows. Okay. That's okay. Cool. Oh, look. Oh, these are back. No. Maybe? They've definitely had these before. The Korean studio catering company, the Korean fried chicken slider, Korean fried chicken topped with gochujang sauce, kimchi coleslaw and pickled onion served on sweet Hawaiian bread. Is it a little bit different? Maybe. Maybe, but that sounds pretty. That kimchi what looks it was like real kimchi, though. It does. It so, does. Which you could get in a jar, right? Like you, yeah. don't, you don't need to reinvent kimchi. Sounds good. Uh, we mentioned the Kinder Punch, and you can get the uh, Moana burrito. What, what was in there? The pork. Is Max out oh, on the side? Kal- Kalua pork. Yeah. Has... That kind of thing. But yeah. uh, another another good uh, good place to be. All right. Okay, that's now there's novelties and kids picks. I don't know again with the cranberry sauce with the kids. Of course they're <laughs> eating Kugel mac and cheese maybe, Santa hat shake, holiday match bowl for the kids. But rain. That is the Festival Holidays foodie guide. What a promising year, man. It is. That it is. I'm I'm excited. I'm yeah. I'm excited to go to try new food and to make it a point. That we're gonna try a lot of food this year. I am going Saturday. Um, wow, you got a Saturday rest? Yeah. Props. Um, that might be fun. Yeah. Uh, Andrea invited us, and now she's going to Universal instead. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it Friday. I kind of don't want to because Tiana's opening Friday. It's, Ooh. You know, and the holidays, but man. What an exciting dude, exciting time. It is. I'm I'm pumped. Yeah, let's all try some good foods, guys. Let us know what you try as you try it. Um give us like quick reviews. Maybe that could be we had it so food, you know, like forget the trip. Yeah. I want to know about the food. Let me know. This will be fun. But uh yeah. Any did we already we did the booth standouts? Man. I want that corn dog. Dude, okay, fried auto school and leche, corn yeah, dog. Yeah, that's it. And true. dude, the the hearty loaded fries. I know they're just like cheese fries with chicken on them, but I do <laughs> the, the sausage country gravy. That's a sleeper hit. Yeah, man, not those three in different days though. That, that, that's heavy yeah. stuff. The chicken carnitas, the car- chilaquiles carnitas torta. Also, like, yeah, I won't cry if I don't try it. I feel yeah. like I've had every combination of ridiculous Mexican food at this point. Except for fried <laughs> auto school match. They had to step it up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Holiday pizza. Probably going to miss that. Dude, if I don't get the pumpkin spice bread pudding, I don't even care anymore. Last, it's, it's almost like a tradition for Brandy and I to get the, the but, bread pudding dude, from there. Last year's peppermint bark white chocolate blah, blah, blah one. That was crazy good. Yeah. Yeah. But, man, this is going to be a good, good uh, holiday season of eating. Let's all gain 15 pounds. Beautiful. Uh, warm up for the winter. This is going to be a good time. So let us know. 
So rain. Uh, what's what's hold on and let's see let's see, and that's our um. Let's see. Well, yeah, she's never done this before. Yeah. All right, rain. Take us away. And that's our holiday foodie guide preview. So if this is your final stop, thanks for traveling with us today. And if not, it's time for we have it so good. Are we in the tram fam? Uh, talk about our trips to Disney parks and more right in the trip recaps at tram.com slash ask. Uh, no one did that specifically this week. I have an old write in because it was in an odd. Oh, no. Jimmy S actually put it in. We have it so good on November 4th, but I miss. Why did I miss it? When did we record in Jeff? Um, oh, I think it was like after we recorded that. Same oh, night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Jimmy S waiting for world of color to finish day one of two at the parks. I was able to hit 15 different rides between using lightning lane and single rider. Went with the strategy of going for Peter Pan first. It was down for like five to ten minutes at the start of the day. Got on Mr. Toad instead and saw a line for Peter Pan forming after getting out of hell and jumped in. Did mobile order at Mint Julep Bar and accidentally walked into Tiana's while trying to find the mobile order pickup. Uh, did the single rider on Space Mountain and also found that confusing to find. It seemed like all the mobile order pickup and single rider locations could use better signage, especially if it's not next to the main queue. Got to ride Pirates for the first time here, as it was closed two years ago when I did my first Disneyland trip. Love the queue and the extended ride compared to Orlando. Back at it again tomorrow. Going to probably take a break in the afternoon. Finish at Disneyland instead and enjoy the night vibes in Galaxy's Edge and New Orleans Square. Dude, shout out. Sounds like a great trip. Night yeah. vibes in Galaxy's Edge and New Orleans Square. It's special. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, I went, well, Rain, do you want to just like real cool highlight of your trip or something new you tried in Walt Disney World? We'll be talking about the group dynamic next week. Uh, I have a lot to say about my Disney World trip, all good things. Um, something new I tried is I had a uh, food and wine in Epcot. I got some um, peanut butter and jelly wings. Oh, okay. That sounds like a Florida thing. It's very far, dude. Screw the food in Florida. I'm just gonna say it now. Like it's it's an absolute garbage. Com- as compared to what we just read, it li- literally does not compare. Um, mind you, though, those wings are pretty good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Um, but I did go on Thursday to Disneyland. Oh, our Disneyland. Okay. How was, yeah. How was that? Is that is that before or after you? That doesn't matter. Just go ahead. Um, it was good. It was good. We went with uh, wait Thursday Keely. last week. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, because you weren't. I oh, I went Tuesday because we recorded Monday. That's what it was. But it's okay. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Um, we went Thursday. Kaylee just got her pass. Um, I helped her out with getting it while I was in Florida. Um, did the whole process. Uh, I got in because of Freddie and Anna. Um. I was in the queue for like over an hour and Freddie's like, Hey, I have a, I have a, a link that you'll be up in a couple minutes. If you want it? And I was like, yeah, dude, I'll take it. And I uh, got in with that link because you can put the, you can put a return email now instead of having to wait there the whole time. Yeah. And it has the specific link for you. Yeah. 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 So I did that. Um, he helped me out on that one. Appreciate it. Um, got Kaylee a pass. So we said, Hey, let's make a reservation for the next day. And we did just that. And I think so did everyone else because everyone else was activating their pass that day. Um, a lot when we of were people, walking through. Dude, a lot of people grabbed the Imagine key. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Um, she ended up getting Belief. So um, to match with, big spender with Brandy. Yeah, to match with, uh, match with Brandy. And um, we went. We ended up eating at Aunt Cass's. Uh, I got the curry. It was great for me feeling a little under the weather. Um, they both got the miso, uh, clam chowder. Um, we, Brandy and I also split, which was absolutely too much food. 
Um, we regretted it, but we also split that sandwich that they have. It's like a like a turkey sandwich on. Well, how do you say the focaccia bread? Focaccia bread. Focaccia. Focaccia, yeah, that kind of bread. Um, it was like turkey and bacon with like a pesto aioli. Oh yeah, do that. I think it was great. That was a good sandwich. Um, and we got the taro bread pudding. Oh yeah. Uh, taro bread pudding was pretty good. Um, the crust on the outside, Brandy didn't care for, um, but the inside was great. I like the like the bread puddingy part of it was really good. Um, we went and did web slingers, uh, because Kaylee had never done it before. Wasn't it three things before, or was no, it always four? It's four, and it should be five. Is what we would say. Oh, okay. I always thought we it was three, and it should be four. So I was like pleasantly surprised by that, but I was tired by the end, so I was good. Um, and from there, we were like, okay, you know what? I think we're just going to we'll call it a night. But I did find um, this like zip-up jacket that I really liked with um, uh, Mickey on it. It's like green, and it's kind of – it's it's really cool. It's a Christmas jacket. But um, Brandy has been eyeing that for a while now. And we found it in my size, and we ended up trying to find her size. So we went through maybe like five or six different stores throughout the resort looking for brandy size, and we couldn't find it anywhere. All they had left were 3X, 2X, and XL. That's it. And we were looking for a large. But um, ended up just ordering it on Disney Shop um, because right now they have like a 25% off if you spend 100 bucks. So I actually got it for less than what I got it. I got it for with my Magic Key discount. Nice. Yeah. So it all worked out in the end. But um, yeah, quick trip. We'll we'll be back soon. I don't have. I don't think I have any reses going right now. But um, yeah, we'll be back. Nice, dude. Yeah. So I went on um, Tuesday, like I said, and it was like a supposed to be boys trip type deal. But then, like you know, no, most people couldn't make it. So it was me, Matthew, and then Freddie and Anna actually came. Um, oh. But I got there first because now I'm off work at 3.30. Um, and so I'm like, all right, let me just go to Disneyland. And I was a little hungry. We didn't really have, like, dinner plans. So I went to Tropical Hideaway. Uh, the chicken was gone, but now they have these pot stickers. And they were, like, $9. I'm like, these are going to suck, and they're going to be a ripoff. But I'm going to do it for you guys. Um. Dude, this was the saddest, like, <laughs> waste of money Trader Joe's frozen microwave pot stickers. They're, pot sticker, I think, yeah. They're the round ones, and I think there were four of them for $9. I sent you a picture. Oof. Oof. Dude, and it came with, like, chili oil. Miserable. Oh, yeah, that's um, pathetic. They, and they put the lime. Yeah. Well, that's almost like, like salt in the wound. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it just for myself. The pretzel garlic roll. Uh, great, of course. Um, dude, it was just like everything I needed it to be. Uh, I called Matthew because he was like on his way. I'm like, do you want one? He goes, No, I'm good. And then I remembered he and Brie have never tried Darth by chocolate, so I grabbed uh. that and took the monorail out. And then he's like, Oh, dude, Brie's gonna be so mad. I'm like, Just don't tell. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> And it's then, an easy fix, man. You just you know, just it, lie a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't have told anyone. Um, it's just like eating a dessert, dude. It's not like he went to you know, like Club Thirty Three without her and lied or something. You know. So, anyways, he's like, no, no, "I'm gonna take it home." I'm like you're insane. So then I hatched a plan. I'm like, "Dude, let's go get, let's go to Star Wars Trading Post. Let's ask for a bag, and then we're gonna go to the Discovery Tower and fill the bag up with ice from the ice machine." And then we're going to put the Darth by chalk in it. It was a cold night. So we did that and then took it to his car and put it in the trunk. And nice. then they tried it and they were like, didn't live up to the hype. And they like, <laughs> we couldn't even finish it. I'm like, unless you love chocolate. Like, you know, people are like, oh, I like chocolate. I'm like, well, that, that's, yeah. not, that's not the dessert for you. Uh, and then at that point. Oh, and I took some pictures that I ended up posting for the show. Um, which you all saw. And uh, then, right, so Freddie and Anna were eating at home. So Matthew's like, dude, I'd go for Earl a sandwich. And I'm like, there it is. I said that was my one next bite. 
So I got the holiday turkey. Beautiful. It was good. Matthew got chipotle chicken avocado because, of course, he did. Because, <laughs> of course, he did. Yeah. And uh, he hated the Earl Grey tea thing. What uh, the heck? I think it's great. And, dude, chipotle chicken avocado. It's a good sandwich, right? It's just not the sandwich. Right. right. It's, it's, it's like saying a uh, ham and cheese is good. You right? know what I mean? Like, what chi- what's the best chip that can go with that? Chip? It chips, yeah, with the chipotle chicken avocado. Jalapeno chips. Okay, what's the second best chip? Barbecue. Really? Yeah. I think he got barbecue. And I'm yeah. Like, Dude, I... you got jalapeno salt and vinegar here, and you're getting barbecue with this thing? Oh, I would go salt and vinegar, too, if that's yeah. an option. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Barbecue's number three on this list. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I would say number three. It's fine. It's fine. Young lad. And then I saw the most terrifying thing ever at Sunglass Hut. Give the gift of meta AI. Uh, Ray Ban Meta sunglasses, best paired with transition lenses. Uh, hey, is that why is that scary? The gift of Meta AI. It's not a gift. <laughs> I got I got them. Oh no! For my trip. Why? What does that have to do with your trip? Having like, hey Meta, camera? what is this? This is the no, golden gift. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't talk to. I don't talk to Meta. It for the camera. It's like having it's like having a GoPro on you all the time. Yeah, and you took one picture in Epcot of Tafiti. But that was pictures. You didn't ask for video. What did you do with video? I was constantly recording on the glasses. Okay. Does it yeah. look okay? It looks great, dude. I'll show you. It looks really good. Does it wobble? Um, no. Uh, did you get them with transitions lenses? Best to no. paired with? No. Dude, Gabriel no. said they fixed transitions to me and Ricardo, and we both looked at him and said, let us know. He loves them. He got the transitions? Yeah, on the meta, on the meta glasses. Oh, because he didn't have them while we were there. Or, the, mean, the metas? The transitions. Oh, you're right, you're right. And I don't think he had the meta glasses either. Yeah, I don't think so. He had yeah. like, similar looking ones, I think. Yeah, he, he, he's he, the one who convinced me to get them. Dude, with, this is with complete love to Gabriel. He would have been so annoying about it if he had them. Oh, he, he, act, like, he from the like, time I, as a joke, he'd be like, what type of drink is this? Oh, that's a rum and coke, you know, like, <laughs> like, I, like I said, I don't use them for that. Um, you use the but... headphones. That's why Matthew wants them because of the bone conduction headphones. And I'm like, G- Gabriel said that's the best thing ever is using it as headphones. I don't really care for it because I only had them as sunglasses. If they were regular glasses. Okay. But as, as sunglasses, when am I going to need headphones? Uh. Yeah, I wonder what these transitions look like on there, but I'm never putting meta on my face. I, I sent you a, a video. Dude, like how... I know you have them already, but isn't that... Like, meta on your face! I think you could turn off the, the AI thing. Okay. Dude, so here's what I could tell from looking at this. Just from the first uh-huh. few seconds. It's not so bad otherwise. It's, it's like faking the stabilization. Because in the first few seconds, the castle is like staying centered and things are wobbling. Uh, then, okay, uh-huh. let's see. It's not the highest quality video, though. No, it's not. It's not. But you got to remember, I wasn't holding anything. I was just, I just pushed a button for a couple seconds and then it was off to the races. Hmm. But okay, like, what's the, is this just the capture memories for you? Like, what's... yeah. It, it's, it's, because you know me, I don't take pictures a lot. Yeah. And I don't take video a lot. But when it's just on my face and it's just like a click, a real quick click, it it's a lot more enticing. Dude, this I'm already I'm seeing a stroller. This I wouldn't have gone on this trip. You're better man <laughs> than I am. <laughs> was it wasn't bad. It really wasn't bad. I know, I know. Why are they just doing fireworks in the middle of the day? But also that that's what we said. We're, what the heck? Dude, this this street is so freaking huge. Yeah, it's something like, boy, dude. It like just and it's oh, it is, dude. It's so wide. Yeah, gotta fit all those Floridians, you know. But I, I so it, it felt like a sidewalk was all of Main Street, it's our Main so Street. So long, dude. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you you literally just use it for the camera on your face. Yeah, that's it. You're gonna be talking to Meta in like two weeks. <laughs> I don't I don't wear sunglasses really, just on vacation. Interesting. So you paid $300 so you can take some videos. 
Yes. You could clip the GoPro to a backpack. Yes. Okay. Well, give these to Matthew then, because uh, he's obsessed with these things. He wants them so bad. It's okay. Bree's going to buy them for Christmas. You get the round ones or the Wayfarers? The Wayfarers. Large Wayfarers. Okay. Anyways, uh, we ate Earl of Sandwich. It was good. And then we met them at the dress shop real quick and decided we're going to, Hearthstone is our backup. We're going to go to the Napa Rose la- bar. Lounge was closed. Bar had three seats. And then they're like, no, it has four seats. So we went and sat there. Dude, how did I forget his name? He was like the best bartender ever. It was uh, Javier. No. Young guy. Uh, Jared. No. Oh, uh, okay. Man. He he looked like Rob McElhaney. I'm going to be just straight up. But uh, <laughs> not as... Not as an insult, dude. He was so funny, um, but we sat at the bar. Matthew got, he's like, can I get a mint julep, no alcohol? And he's like, sure. I'm like, can I get a mint julep with alcohol? And he's <laughs> like, what type of alcohol do you want? I'm like, what do you recommend? He goes, well, they're usually made with bourbon. I'm like, okay. So they made right. it with uh, Buffalo Trace. Dude, this is one of the best drinks I've had in my entire life. <laughs> this is like, I understand the mint julep thing now. I don't know what we're doing in Disneyland, but this dude, holy we're moly. missing out, dude. I had no business drinking too. And I did, <laughs> uh, Freddie got some cool drinks. I don't know what they were. Anna got a dirty Shirley. Have you heard of this? This is Shirley temple with alcohol with vodka. Yeah. Oh, huh. I'm not sure that. Yeah. It's funny. Um, but cool. And then I'm like, we already ate. I'm like, Hey, uh, man, what was his name? What's up with this uh pumpkin cheesecake chocolate bar thing? And he's like, I've only had a bite of it, and it's absolutely delicious. And I was like, after this drink, I trust you with my life. Let's get one of those. <laughs> and I'm like, everyone have a bite. And so everyone's like, ah. I'm like, dude, take a bite. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. It's tiny, twenty dollars. You know, fine dining, delectable, so good, fresh cream. Nice. We ate the flowers, like, dude. So good. Um, I think I posted it, right? A little bit of pistache. Yes. Um, yes, you did. Yeah. So absolutely great stuff, dude. We just hung out there for like a few hours. It was uh, election night. Um, oh. So that was fun. Uh, but no TVs over there. And uh, then we like popped into, uh, what is it called? A story. Um, saw some up things and walked to the car. And went home. Cool. But had a wonderful night. I I glad I popped into Disney on real quick. Uh, got my little snacks. Got some food. Got some drinks. <sighs> Man, so sad. I forgot the bartender's name because I was like, gotta remember it. It's like it's not Pete, but it feels like it is. Um, but we had a great time. Great drinks. Great food. Great company. Um, oh, and they tried to convince me to go on the big group trip. Um, <laughs> and I said no. And Matthew's like, but think of the perks. Rain has DVC. Uh, Freddy has, I don't know, some sort of contacts over there, right? Matthew's like, we got the universal hookup. I'm like, I don't care about any of these things. I'm not going <laughs> to stay in the DVC room. I don't need free universal. And again, I don't remember. what Freddy had something, but I don't remember what it was. But I'm like, I don't need any of this. And they're like, think of like, we're, you, can, you can hang out with your friends and have, so much, have good times. I'm like, I'm doing that right now. And then I'm going to go home later. You know, <laughs> and, and then we they're like both well, the, the 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 epic universe. I'm like, I don't care about epic universe. Hey, if they're down to go, to, if Matthew can get me into epic universe, we let's use my DVC. You do the group trips. You like the group yeah. trips. You will have fun. I, I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, I'm, but the 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 difference is that I'm like, yeah, I know Kirk's not going to do it. But they'll be like, Kirk, you should do this. <laughs> and it, guys, like, I'm going to be going on a honeymoon next year at an undisclosed time. Um, over under Rain's wedding, that's the bet, um, which was August 31st. But, like, look, look, that's going to be a trip. And then I'm going to go on another. Like, I'm, I'm not, listen, I, Kimmy and I don't go on trips. I'm getting married. We're going on all the trips. I'm not going on a group trip. All right. I got no business. <laughs> With all you guys. I love you all. 
I'll hang out. I'll see you at Disneyland. All right. Like, I don't, I'm not doing the group trip. I'm not doing a group trip with a family, with a cousin, with a brother. That's okay. We went to Chili's today. That's a group trip enough. Okay. Like, that. that is all. So, uh, I'm not going on a group trip, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and yeah, they're like, well, you went to, I'm like, is it, it's a bachelor party? It's not, let's all go on vacation together. Those are two yeah. totally different things, dude. Bachelor party, yeah. you're in like dumb bro mode, right? Yeah. You're just like, oh, this is, it's just, oh, who wants rum and coke? It's on me, you know? Like, it's fun. Separate thing. So, uh, Matthew, you put a ring on it, not on me. You, you do your bachelor party over there. That's how you get me. That's how you yeah, get me. Uh, but I'm true. still it not worked, staying worked in once. the same room. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah. So fun trip. Fun trip. Um, and yes, I happy birthday to my brother, Kev. Uh, we went to Chili's today. because happy, dude, but Now that's a birthday trip. Okay, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. Uh, we were going to go to Madres in Whittier. Um, you know what that is? It's next to the theater. I think so. I think it took over what your where your uncle used to eat. Oh, okay. So the right of the theater, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dude, it's I know it's Veterans Day, right? So shout out to the veterans, I guess. Um, it's just a weird sentence. Uh, so get there at like one, and we're like, okay, for six, because my sister is gonna show up, and they're like forty five minutes, and we're like, what? So we leave That's the crazy. name. We walk to the chicken coop because everything's closed in Uptown. They're like 25 minutes and it's already been 20. And then my dad goes to get the car. My sister already has to leave. And then we're still like seventh in line at Madres. And my mom's like, you guys want to go to Chili's at the quad? And we're like, that's, oh. that's a special Chili's, dude. It is. And we're like, okay. And I call Chili's and they're like, oh, not really a wait. Lied. Um, <laughs> So we get to Chili's, right? The five Kimmy was there, um, and Kimmy, dude, Kimmy's so down to go to Chili's. She hasn't been in forever. So go to Chili's like twenty five minutes, and they're like, "There's one table at the bar," and we're like, "We'll be there." So we walked to the. We just go. We sat at a bar table. Um, immediately got two two chips because the three for me lunch thing you can't sub the salad. Um, yeah. but who cares? Uh, ate too many chips. Kev got a salad because I told him not to. Uh, my mom got a burger. I don't even know what my dad got. Um, he didn't complain. And then Kimmy got, she actually ate healthy. She got a sirloin and veggies. Um, not a bad steak. Not a good steak, but not a bad one. That's probably the best thing, like the healthiest thing you can get there. Yeah, because it's literally it's steak and asparagus. Um, yeah. And then I was like, I'm going to do it just because everyone wants to try it. I went triple dipper, dude. But, dude, screw the chicken tenders. I went two sliders, the Southwest egg rolls, and the hot Nashville hot maz. Have you had the Nashville nice. hot maz, my friend? I have not. I need to have it. Dude, okay. So I'm like, I, there's no way I'm eating all this, right? So I gave away an egg roll. I ate the, the sliders. So I, I gave the maz, one of them, to my brother and my mom. I go, listen to me. Shove this in the ranch and eat it. And I, I'm like, just do it. And Kev eats it. He goes, whoa. <laughs> it's dude I and mean, even my mom she's like oh my god that's so good and then kimmy took a bite too she was like wow she's like, whoa that's spicy and my mom was like it goes away and it just goes away immediately right it's just like yeah, yeah. first pungent thing uh dude they all had that moment of the i'm sorry chilies i wasn't familiar with your game like <laughs> dude that natural hot moz it's scary because you're just How dip, good you're dipping fried cheese in ranch yeah, dude, you got to I'm telling you, I'm going to kill you, but you got to go and have that. Oh, you know what? If we're doing the boys trip, you got to get that. Yeah. And I then do. what am I getting? What did you say I need to get? Uh, What did I say you need to get? I just said you don't don't get the oh, just the, the three for me. You no, know? no, no, no. You, we were talking about this earlier. Some weird Chili's item. It wasn't the, it wasn't an Adam Melinda special. Um, you were just telling me. Okay, egg. Oh, also egg rolls, really good. Yeah, they're, they're uh, good. no, not the turkey club, 
chicken crisp. Oh, dude, they put the original chicken crispers on here as a top item. Um, carnitas fajitas, burgers. You got me so excited for a second. No, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> bacon avocado, boneless, w- loaded boneless wings. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> okay. Um, this is a oh mash.com. Okay, boneless wing. I know they're not wings, guys, but just bear with me. Uh, load. Okay, let's see. Boneless wings form the base layer of the dish, smothered in ranch dressing. <laughs> of course, it says if you're not a f- ranch fan, you can probably excuse yourself now and move on to the next menu item. <laughs> but if you happen to be a fan of ranch, you're likely going to love this, dude. Okay, so smothered in ranch with shredded cheese, bacon, chopped green onions. Okay. Jesus. And they said it might have been ranked higher if it wasn't for the fact that it was just so much ranch. <laughs> oh, big mouth bites is what they call the the little things. Quesadilla explosion salad, no. Rain, what what did you tell me to get? I don't I don't know, dude. But we had a little conversation about this. Anyways. Today? Yeah. What the heck? No, I don't remember. Because I was like, if we go back to Chili's, I'll get that because I can't eat the triple dipper again. I just, I don't know. Beats me, dude. Dude, we, I literally said the words, I can't eat the triple dipper again. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's bothering me. You know, my, mem- my memory is horrible. You remember the other thing earlier? I did. I did. I don't know how. Was it the... No, it wasn't a sandwich. Was it a bowl? Oh, soup. I feel all the soup. Yeah. Yeah. It uh, just doesn't... It's not a food to me. It doesn't... You have to, like, customize the bowl of soup? They have chili at Chili's. I didn't think of that. <laughs> chili chilies. It just says bowl of soup. Mm. Yeah, it's enchilada. It's it, enchilada. It, looks, it has the shredded tortilla chip strips. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. That's what it is. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got them. But anyways, um, that was great. We got, dude. There's a Reese's pie thing. Have you seen this? It's, there. Yeah. Oh. Insanity. We got that. Uh, and then Kev went to the bathroom, and they brought him ice cream with a candle on it. Uh, and uh yeah and then we okay so you get points or no uh i don't think so now that you mention it so i just put your phone number for fun oh you know what though you have to like eat there every six weeks to get the free chips or something it's like really it's something really funny but uh (laughs) but i put your phone number in so thank you it didn't give us anything but um i don't care it just gets your punch card going so yeah uh Look, it was fun. Dude, Chili's less sad in the middle of the day. Yeah, 100%. But they did ask my dad, you want the tall beer? <laughs> and he's like, no, no. It's not okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, right. And I got the seasonal autumn marg. Uh, dude, I've had the three margs in a row, uh, like three months. Um, Kimmy mm. tried it, and she was like, took a few sips. And so liked dude, it? It got her, dude. It got her. Nice. It's Chili's. Um, but anyways, we have it so good. Um, that's what we got. Great trips. Um, see us next week. But Rain, what time is it? It's pizza time. It's time for one last bite. Rain is always what is the best thing you tasted this week? Oh, <sighs> the last couple weeks actually. Um, I'm gonna give a special shout out to, I believe it's called a like sweet date. Sweet, sweet goods or something like that. It's over here in Anaheim. I can't look it up right now, but um, Brandon, and I got the viral chocolate that's like filled with pistachio and couldn't. I, I don't even know how to say it because it's. Um, let me see here. Chocolate. Do you know what I'm talking about? Say it again. It's filled with pistachio, um, but it's like it's like a hard yeah, a Dubai chocolate. Oh, dude, my uh, cousin made that. It's oh, like, really? What? It's like a halva, but with pistachios. Yes, dude, that thing is next level. Good. Yeah, it is. It is. It's really good. next. Like, there's crunchiness to it. There's oh, yeah. like, yeah, it's 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 crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna give it to that. Nice. Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna give it to um, 
the what did I have? The mint julep with bourbon. Yeah. Because Mammoth doesn't have good food. Yeah. Uh, that's not why you go there. Like I'm trying to see what I ate there. I mean, the breakfast burrito is always good in the morning. Um, I always start with that. But like, I got like some janky chicken sandwich the first night. Uh, dude, I finally went to the tiki bar in Mammoth. I've been there five times. Uh-huh. And I'm like, this place has bad reviews. And I go in. It's not really a tiki bar. It's really strange. But I got a painkiller. Uh-huh. wasn't bad. I got to say, dude, uh, rum at 8,100 feet in elevation hits you way different. Yeah, yeah. Any alcohol does. It's crazy. And then I got a beer at the brewing company, yeah. and I almost died. Uh, but their Gouda Burger, very good. Um, yeah. But then I come back and I eat a triple dipper, and <laughs> and my own sandwich and that bourbon thing. All all way better. Um. So yeah. Shout out to Mammoth. Um. Wish I was back there, but uh. The food here's better. That's for sure. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So finally, Rain, what's your one next bite? You're probably going during the holidays. What's the first thing you want? First thing I want is the is... croissant, the auto con leche, the, uh, the mac I'm, and cheese. You know? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the croissant uh-huh. if it's available on mobile order. Um, I also want to get the the corn dog, uh, and I think keeps keeps calling to me. All right. Um. I'd probably end up in DCA first because that's what happens. Uh, okay, like obviously I want this cornbread bake and all that, but I feel like I'm just going to end up getting the chicken chicharron with basmati rice. I don't know why. You just feel it? I just feel it unless it's hot out, in which case, no. Um, you know, I'm, I think I'm just going to get that because I'm just going to get that out of the way. I don't know why, but that's what's calling my name. If it's you're set on it, you're set on it. Yeah, I can't get the. I you need to be at or past Thanksgiving to be eating the cranberry. Yeah, yeah. No pre Thanksgiving cranberry, but uh, maybe that basmati rice, and if not, the basmati rice. Um, oh, the the Moana burrito. Cool. Yeah. So we'll call it there. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we got for this week. We got some good holiday stuff coming up. We got. Two more episodes still trying to do this now? That's crazy. It's already coming up. Hold on. Is that, is that right? We got... I, let's see. We did Walt's Last Wishes. Okay, so we have... Mm, yeah, dude. We have a... I do have a Thanksgiving episode planned. Cool. Uh, it's, it's... Maybe I'll ask for write-ins then. Disney and big groups next week. And then four... Okay. Three and a half... Tram through the snow episodes because the final one airs on Christmas Day. Oh, but I have oh, an, oh, oh. I have an interesting topic for that one. Cool, so, sounds great. Yeah, so rain. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forget how to do this for some reason. And with that, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next week. See you real soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for traveling with us today. And we hope you have a happy and memorable visit to the Disneyland Resort. Please lower your head, watch your step, and exit to the driver's right-hand side only.